Ireland had been a system, of course, that um, has been known. People were taking advantage of it, but of course, how many of us sit down to take advantage of it to the uh, later? But before we go ahead, I think we need to do some sensitization. But everybody now tell you that you have to sensitize people about coronavirus so that um, we don't just talk about making money. We need to do some sensitization without, without educating people about coronavirus. Okay, so I just hope you guys are going to take advantage of this um, <laughs> sensitizations and um, now allow us to run along and for me, I'll move ahead, I'm going to show you something. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. So here comes a time when we hear a certain call when the world can't come together as one. There are people dying. It's time to wash our hands to prevent the worst disease right now. We can go on pretending day by day that someone somewhere will soon find a cure. We are all part of one great big quarantine. And you know, together we'll survive. We are the cure. We are the treatment. We are the cure. If we stay at home and do not spread it. There's a choice for making. We're saving our own lives. So please isolate yourself for you and me. Oh, stay in your house. So this thing don't go last long. And our lives, they go back to normal. I know God can save us, oh, but we have to play at the hearts, and together, we will all survive. We are the cure, we are the treatment, we are the cure, if we stay at home and do not spread it. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. So please isolate yourself for you and me. Stay safe. So guys, stay safe and uh, so try as much as possible to stay safe. It's very important. And no matter what you're doing, stay safe and uh, just take necessary precautions and not to uh, uh, underestimate or overestimate, but what I would tell us again is not to panic and so that panicking can cause a lot of problems and a lot of people, uh, when you tell them about, you know, how to manage situations and they, they, they go their guard and go an extra mile. So what I, what I would tell us is that always think ahead of time, you know, of course, uh, some of us are not willing to digital space. Uh, when I tell people about what's happening in the digital space now, you know that good things are happening, bad things are happening every day. It all depends on how ready you are to make advantage or take advantage of what's happening. And um, so let, 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 let's go. We have so many things to, uh, but we're going to be very fast tonight. And I know some of you are joining us for the first time on this forum. Uh, tonight, our interaction is going to be based on what our usual stuff. But I have some here talking about understanding the concept of no, no pain, no gain, but how do you harness it? And now taking to the first, first thing I'm going to show us is about understanding the dimensional futures of cryptocurrency, you know, talking about the bad, the good, the, the ugly, and talking about receiving, observing, and taking advantage of it, you know, working by yourself. You've got it. Uh, 
there are a lot of things, uh, updates uh, we might want to take on CIMBC. Uh, for some of us who are new, uh, there are a lot of futures I have to get to us over time to, to work over, you know, and um, as a guide to help us, you know, and uh, if you don't get a guide, you definitely wouldn't know what you're doing for time. Uh, somebody is not hearing, what's happening? Yeah, it's a Sunday, you, you put hands your hands, what's happening? It's the Sunday, uh, yeah, so you say something, what is it? Yeah, can, you can talk. Uh, uh, I see, May, maybe you are having a device problem, you are not hearing me, right? Mr. Sunday, uh, uh, yeah, so maybe you're not hearing me. It's possible you have a device issue. Uh, if you're not hearing me, you can go out. Uh... Okay, <laughs> so uh, Mr. Sunday, if you're not hearing me, you can just go off and come back, okay? And you can get it restored. If you cannot get it, and then you have to go to your, you have to go to your uh, device in between uh, your microphone and your TV uh, on uh, on your video, where it shows start video and mood. In between the two, there's an arrow that pointed or click it, and then you can reset your 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 mic there you know, to get it uh, properly done if you're not getting the right thing okay um i will do something very fast now this is uh, okay. okay so all over the world even wherever you're connecting from and um, always know that i have always been emphasizing on everything you're doing in the space of uh, digital marketing um, you know uh, cryptocurrency you're absolutely responsible for the outcome of your business. And that's why you need to mind your business, know what you want, and walk towards it, and don't let anyone get you confused. And because I mean, listen to, listen to a lot of people, you've got. What is happening? I can't hear anything. I can't see anything. Guys, sorry about that. I think you have a network issues over here. I don't know. And uh, sorry about that. And I just want you guys to see something about we we'll talked about understanding the dimension of futures of cryptocurrency and the two sides of coronavirus and its implications of financial markets. Cryptocurrency as a case study, and you can see one of it. And I'm going to share with us in our group later about um, these guys about uh, uh, in CNBC on the market situations, you know, in the United States of America. And look at it. Uh, You've got look it. At this one. I, I 
281,000 jobless claim last week. Fox Magazine, 281,000 jobless claim last week. Now, the point is this, that a whole lot of things that will be happening in the dimensions of this opportunity and aspect of problem that it will pose. Of course, we're gonna have high level of insecurity. We've got a lot of people are gonna lose their job. It's natural. Now, I told people, you can, you can lose your job and not necessarily because of you're not strong enough, not because uh, your company hates you, but it will force to sack you when he don't know what to do. Time. Your company will sack you when he fail um, in certain technological know-how. And so the technological advancement can force your employer of labor to sack you, to get you fired. You know, as much as possible, it's looking for ways of maximizing profit and minimizing cost. Okay. And so that's more reason why we need to take our cryptocurrency business very seriously. And um, there we go. I've been telling a lot of us, uh, let's go to Coin360. Uh, Coin360. Uh, volatility. Of course, the volatility. Uh, let me just give it to you guys. The volatility in the crypto market, even not just crypto market alone. And in, in the financial market, call it the, the forex, you know, the international market, call it the US market, the Europe, China, and all of that's going to have a lot of issues still going forward. Why? Because of the coronavirus. So, issues, that's the dimensional factor, you know, and um, two sides of the coin about the, because Dijon, you can see Dijon still go down as much as. 21,000 points in price. So still losing you know, very, very much. And uh, we go to the cryptocurrency market, its own, uh, go here. I just want to give you some updates before we go further to what we need to discuss about the two sides of the coin of coronavirus. And um, wow, this is crazy. Okay, there we go. But the markets generally low. And don't say, don't put the triggers on my head, guys. Uh, I've been saying this, that I still expected a very crazy drop in cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, as it were. Unfortunately, the guy has just reluctantly have very strong support at $6,000, you know, Ordinarily, we should be experiencing a very good drop in the in the price of Bitcoin, you know, for the past uh, how many hours? For the past 12 hours. And but it's the struggling and having a very strong support in that stage where it is. If not, like I have my prices of Bitcoin set at four thousand dollars, four thousand five hundred dollars. Um $4,000, $4,500, and $3,800. But I may be disappointed, you know, I may be disappointed, however, but it's just consolidating, but it's having a very strong 50-50 chances. Now, please take note of this, please. I am not telling you. Look at the RSL of it still within the very strong support interval. You know, meanwhile, meanwhile, the, the clear indications of the price of Bitcoin was to vamp to this place, $4,000, and probably deep down to $3,800. And but from all indication, from all indications, uh, I might not really have time to show you the trading view here now. I'm not here to bother you with all this English. So you don't even necessarily need those English, okay? Those English are not important for you. What you need in our community is that how clear is the road should we enter? That's why we said you need to be an informational trader rather than being a, a professional trader. So the market breaking up is to break up to above almost $8,000 and next phase, maybe $8,100 in this game may be and take another dimension of a deep. But whichever way, what I would advise anyone, if you have your Bitcoin, if you have your Bitcoin uh, or you bought Bitcoin before now, from $3,000 or $3,700 and all of that, just hold it. Because many of us who are on looking at this uh, uh, a beer market may be disappointed shorting the market right now. 
So don't sell it, don't buy. Uh, you can buy, sorry, you can rather buy, but don't sell. So because the market could witness the next 12 hours, could witness a very crazy upward trend, like a very volatile spike, something like similar to this. Now, I'm not here to give analysis. This forum is actually a general orientation sell. The market analysis and buying order, selling order is actually meant for trading room. Okay, so, but we're looking at understanding the dimensional futures of cryptocurrency. Please, ladies and gentlemen, I know everybody here, some of us to an extent, about 80 to 90% of people on this forum tonight are actually have been in the space of cryptocurrency for a very long time. But I want to bet you, and I want to let you know something very importantly. You must be ready to be a live student of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology to do well. Now, if you assume to have known so many things and everything, I can assure you, you're going to fail. So it's important you set it down, you, you, you know, calm down, bring, her, bring your head down, and pick the necessary vital information. I also have expected that everybody who are in the space of cryptocurrency right now should have their external wallet. I'm going to get to security. So tonight, in the dimensionals, you know, futures of cryptocurrency is this. We've said segment your trading aspect, segment your involvement, which means what are the involvement in the space of cryptocurrency? Number one is the trading aspect of it. The dimensional aspect of it now is mining has transferred away from the usual POW we used to have, which is the proof of works. Now go to coin. Uh, crypto compare you can get to learn more about you know, some of those terminologies about you know mining informations and uh, uh, and other factors you know of cryptocurrency space now mining has actually gotten more 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 not fascinating in the in the in the in the industry now right now mining has no much profitable stock okay uh, Genesis mining has been on for a very long time. We have so many companies that are trying to mine and all of that. Now, the dimensional part of cryptocurrency is the aspect of the distributions. And so the distributions has to do with me, you buying and facing the market and taking advantage of the market beyond just being a miner. And um, a lot of people have asked these questions. Now, the dimensions we are now in the space of cryptocurrency is called the dimension of adoption. Adoptions, the space and the dimension we are in the face of cryptocurrency right now. And that's why, number one, I will encourage everyone, if you're getting involved in any cryptocurrency project, it's better you know when the crypto project gets started. They're just starting a crypto project right now, and they are ready to work as a team on such project, you can take advantage of it. But I want to let you know something, that about 80 to 90 or 99 percent of third party crypto projects, especially those that claim to be doing investment and pay you percentages, you know, 10%, 30%, 40% every month, we put your money into mining, we put your money into trading and all of that. I want to let you know that 99% of them are Ponzi scheme. And so be very careful about how you get involved in some of them, okay? And so now the, the system we're looking at uh, in our community, as like for you, some of you who are very new tonight, coming on, you know, on this training tonight, we have a space. The space we maintain, uh, number one, prioritizing our personal trading, okay? Personal, personalizing our personal trading and making sure, like on our forum I posted this afternoon, that you should have at least 60% of your money in your personal trading. It's so, it's so, so important. You have to try as much as possible have, if you're getting involved in crypto. So first option is to make sure that, okay, if I'm starting with crypto with 200,000 or 500,000 or, or 2 million uh, as the case may be, how much, you know, how should I segment my, you know, portfolio? My portfolio should be separated in this dimension. 60% on my personal trading, okay? Then 20% on, Master Nook system, uh, like some of us, of course, all of us on our platform, Plan B Express, Mega Green Club, and Be With Me, we know that what we use on our 
masternode is the EDC blockchain, okay? So the EDC blockchain we use uh, is, is, is a place where you, you, you just create, you know, uh, a kind of long-term investment platform. And so with the long-term investment platform, you are not to look at it as something you want to lay your hands on right now. And that's why I encourage everybody to try as much as possible, increase their involvement in their personal trading. I'll give you the dimension. The dimension is that it reduces your exposure to risk. Okay, so less your exposure to third parties. Open more of your exposure. What is the direct management of your asset? The direct management of your asset is the aspect of buying and selling by yourself and monitoring and managing your investment or your equity in your trading portfolios. And now what you actually need to guide you properly in your personal trading portfolios is the right information and basic training. And so those trainings are why we, all of us on Build With Me, you, you agree with me that I don't just like bringing a signal to us just like that. I always love to go straight more further to explain factor responsible for that, you know, factor, why should I buy this? Sometimes you bring a coin and say, let everybody buy this coin. Uh, it is important to know why are we buying this coin? But before we go there, because of course the first thing is highlight, you know, the dimensions of um, buy and selling. Now, I, I was saying something about the size of coronavirus. Coronavirus is going to make a lot of people, it has made a lot of people withdraw their money in cash and they are afraid of everything right now. So with that, investor ran away from anything called investment, anything called business, okay? Because they aren't sure what's going to happen. And so for that, they stay off. So market can get consolidated for a very long time in such case. Now, but the conjunction of the coronavirus outbreak, along with the sort of forthcoming halving of Bitcoin, is another dimension that you should respect a kind of violent outbreak of poor trend, you know, immediately or probably before the halving and maybe just a month or two immediately after the halving. But the, the, the real outbreak of the cryptocurrency industry, Bitcoin, yeah, the case will be uh, much, much more, not this year, but next year. Sorry, forgive me. Don't put the triggers on my head. Somebody say, why not, why not this year? Yeah, I'm not saying it cannot happen. But a phenomena, the yeah, actual phenomena we are waiting for, expecting in the space of cryptocurrency may not really happen this year as we expected it. May probably be next year. You should follow trend of activities in the space of cryptocurrency, please. Now, I met people who argue so much about this space. Uh, if you're a forex trader, please take to note in your mind that cryptocurrency is not practically controlled by technical analysis. Okay? It's more controlled by fundamental and market sentiment. In the aspect of technical analysis, which I may have to broaden for us later, not this interaction, but as a literature for us, in aspects that controls about you know, uh, about going forward and coming backward of Bitcoin, other cryptocurrency, are actually a mathematical algorithm. So it's an algorithm that has so much influence to tell you, though there might be a contraction or expansion of time within the play out of some of those analyses, but they are more controlled by algorithm, not the chart, not the volume the band, not the volume wage, just like what we normally have on the uh, on the on the FX market. So sentiment is more what you must develop more if you want to enjoy cryptocurrency. Sentiment fundamental analysis. Every news, bad or good news, have positive or negative effect on cryptocurrency. And that's why we need to be smart enough. And I will tell people some of all of us who are trading, always take the profit presented to you. And we have said time without number your trade is never completed until you have sold into USDT. 
thank God for now, where we have these two guys, these gentlemen. These two gentlemen. We will have beer now and who. So, but these two gentlemen are my favorite guys as a tool. Some of us who, when we go to the trading room, if we can't go to trading room today, tomorrow by 9 p.m., we are going to be having our trading room, okay? Uh, I will make the timetable known to us again. We'll take some review on our timetable so that. So, this this guy, Beer and Bull, Eta Beer and uh, Eta Bull, these are two guys that I'm so much in love with now, Eta Bull. So Etable now, I've moved my money from Etable. Actually, right, Etable from seventy dollars to one hundred and two dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Etable, I actually ride it from yeah something like that. Excuse me. Show you guys. Yeah, something up here. I saw that. Okay, somewhere here, one hundred two dollars. And edible now is about $67, $69. It's still going to come down if eventually the algorithm we're seeing in Bitcoin actually play out. But if it refuse to play out, no problem. I have no loss. I have no regret whatsoever. So, but edible was at 103. I saw that 102 right now. So, in the market, I can do 50 50 chances. I take some little money and buy some edible because the market is very, very delicate right now. Bitcoin is very, very delicate right now. But I expect, I said, the drop is actually very, very inevitable. The drop in Bitcoin is very, very, very inevitable. I expect the drop like, you know, the, 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 is it the groom expecting the bride, something like that. <laughs> so, but don't put the trigger on my head if it doesn't happen then, but, I expect, oh, okay, I think the magic wants to start happening. Maybe I want to respect your information. There we go. There we go. But this is still deception, okay? Look at the charts, it's still very thick. So, but for me, I expect the drop more than the upward trend. But the upward trend, the support of six thousand dollars is too strong it actually raised six thousand dollars to five thousand eight hundred support so even at this this drop that is happening if it does not happen below five thousand eight hundred just don't just believe that it the drop has not been confirmed the drop will be confirmed very well the moment is below five thousand eight hundred possibly five thousand um, 700, 5,006, then expect Bitcoin back to uh, $4,000, um, $3,800. If it didn't get to $3,800, don't put the trigger on my head, guys. But for me, I expect that. But the worst case scenario, if it does not go to $4,000, we should expect the guy at $4,500. So for me, I have so many of my bear market I bought Eta Bear, you know, waiting for a very good fall, okay? And so, but what happens, Felix, if the thing did not fall? No problem. It's a 50-50 chances. The Eta Bear and Eta Bull I bought are asset on their own. And so whatever happened is that I have a temporary loss on the bear or bull, then whichever one that work out first, even from one I can make profit to cover uh, temporary loss, I'm a record. Like, let me show you something. Actually, this is not a trading class. Forgive me. I know a lot of people on the deal with me, Premium Group, they say, we don't know. This man is digressing. You, you, you're entering the trading room. But it just dies. It's sacrosanct because I may forget, you know, when we finish this training because we may finish this training tomorrow morning. You wake up by 10, by 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. I say 12 hours. By 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., you see Bitcoin at I don't know, $4,700. Oh my God, this guy didn't talk about it yesterday. And so, uh, so, but it's not yet confirmed, but my eye want it. I want it and I have my orders there. Okay, so, um, don't, 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 don't. Just, there we go, there we go. Okay. Oh, wow, let's go. Let's go. Okay. 
Okay, so every ladies and gentlemen, for everyone who is new here tonight, I've just told you what I need to paraphrase, what exactly do we do? We give information about cryptocurrency market. Um, we, we, we analyze, uh, we, gener we generally give information and we encourage our community to be in charge of their money beyond giving their money to third party to trade for them. It doesn't make sense at all. You know, we have had series of cases, you know, people get disappointed about their money because they entrusted their money in the hands of people. Please reframe yourself, you know, from such practice. It doesn't make sense, okay? It doesn't make sense at all because a lot of people have been disappointed you know, on the, on this aspect of uh, so sorry, crypto panic, crypto panic. Okay, so uh, I just want to check one update. So I'm going to take a refresher course for everybody who are old and new right now in them. Uh, okay. Okay, so another thing I uh, need to let you guys know again is uh, all of us who are trading, you should always ensure that when you get to your trading platform, any of your exchange platform where you're trading, always try as much as possible to read updates, news about, you know, upcoming things, you know, IO to come or coins that want to remove or emerge, you know, and uh, so that you don't uh, get disappointed when a coin is being delisted from some platform and then you have loads of some of those coins kind of like this has been announced has announced that it will be removing all leverage tokens from a platform users have until march 31st to get their funds off binance in a surprise move binance is delisting all of fx uh, ftx exchange leverage tokens the announcement was made through Binance official channels recently. Many tokens delisted the announcement to delist FTX. Okay, now uh, we, we're not here to debate this, but why a lot of people to go on their exchange platform at all time to check whatever that is new so that they will not be back, you know, and be taken by surprise and uh, when issues happen. It has happened to one of my you know, clients sometime. He was trading a particular coin, was it work or something like that on Binance? And Binance had made an announcement that this coin is going to be delisted. Okay. So Binance always come to this uh, kind of uh, bell. Binance always bring the update, the information that, okay, we are not going to use this, we are going to do that. And many people don't read. So announcements are made and people don't read, okay, uh, competitions and all of that. So it, it was when the whole thing was done, concluded, and it came up to like do transaction. He couldn't find a coin. We were like, what's happening? What have I done? He was checking and checking and started making noise. But the news, the information was given, okay? okay uh, so it's always good you read. Remember, you are an informational trader. You don't necessarily be a, a professional trader. But over time, you grow to be a professional trader. But by the time you become a professional trader, you are in money. And so better you are an informational trader, make money, and then develop yourself to become a professional trader, you know, while still making more money, okay? And so uh, in summary, we have a series of stuff. Well, I've said the critical news and updates. And so uh, I need to go right now to show 
all the old people. New people, what we do, one, two, we talked about personal trading in crypto, you know, and we talk about in the personal trading, you must not trade all, all day. Uh, I don't trade every day. I don't have that time. I have a lot of things to do. And I love to relax too. Somebody say, you, you relax. My days is always for maybe one or two things. I tend to family and all of that. I'm a night killer, a serial entrepreneur. I work in the night very well. And so uh, I expected everybody to settle down and pick what works for them. Check your time that works for you. If you're doing a pattern, if it's one hour per day, you want to give it to your business with two hours, give it to your business and so that you don't uh, slack behind, okay? So um, for, for people who are trading, you don't necessarily need to trade every day. Like I've told many of our clients that there are platforms I use for just going inside there, give them my money, double my money for me, collect my money back. I'm not talking of Ponzi scheme where I promise you 50%. No, trading exchange platform, I'm taking Bitcoin there, trade a particular coin. I may give you some high percentage within one to three days or one week. Just like in two weeks, you know, what I did on Coinsbit on a particular coin, CMT, was 150%. Is that so big? It's not big because there are coins we do maybe 200% in 24 hours. So, but if I have done 150%, on the platform or the coin that I do not really know their importance, I don't think I need to stay there so much. So two weeks, 150%, collect the money, go back to real trade, okay? Uh, so now that is number one, personal trading. Number two, number two is the aspect of, uh, da, 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 da. number two is the aspect of um, uh, leasing you know, a listing of coins in a coin project, okay? And uh, number three is taking of coin, HRT coin project and um, all the stuff. So let me go now. For some of us who are new, pretty new, or who are old, but we are still struggling to understand certain things in our business, I need to show you something. I, like, I, I was sharing with somebody on, on, um, on EDC blockchain forum about two days ago and somebody was like, wow, uh, what's this? I don't understand this. And I have a friend I told to buy EDC and he was not taking it serious. Now, reason why he didn't take it serious because he was not learning. So I challenge you if you're in a forum and you're not learning, you're gonna miss a lot of things. Please, I want to beg everyone, always learn. Follow the information, follow direction, follow instructions and so that you will not be left behind, okay? So right now, uh, look at the dimension now. Look at dimension. That's why I tell people, if you are not trading, you are totally wrong in our community. Let me show you the fourth dimension. The same EDC coin. Uh, where is it? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Sunday, it's your device. You have to, uh, I, I suspect your device is not working well. So you have to find a way around it. Either you connect with your phone. Uh, yeah, Mr. Sunday, either you connect with your phone uh, for your audio and connect with your laptop for the visual because uh, the audio is working. It just, I think it's your device, okay? Okay, so now look at multi-dimensional stuff on cryptocurrency. Uh, I hope this guy will open this page. Let me just show us something very, very quickly and very, very important why you need to be independent in making your decision and not necessarily depending on anyone's, um, you know, uh, decision or conclusions about certain things, okay? 
Now, many people are finding this thing different. Now, we have so many things on our platform. And I told us on Mega Green, for instance, not everything we bring, you should jump into. It's not compulsory. And as a business person, every crypto project you enter into, use a mindset of a trader for the, for the project, okay? Every project you enter into, use a mindset of a trader. And how do you, a mindset of a trader? You get involved in the projects, and as a trader, what first thing you check, you talk about taking profit. And so you have invested in a project. Now, it depends on what type of project, like EDC blockchain is a long-term and a medium-term project, even though you are earning on daily basis. But if you understand it very well, you can say this is a medium and long-term business. So if that is the case, it's a long-term and medium-term business. You go back to the market. You go back to the market. Let's go to coin market cap. So if I want to invest in a project, if it's old, if it's new, whatever. So you go back to the coin market. Wow, this is fantastic. I was suspecting this guy. Man. Came down and pick up immediately. Wow. Okay, no problem. Let's go here. Or we'll go to coin market cap. Now, this is coin market cap, guys. Now, you want to invest in EDC blockchain. So you check, go to coin market cap. Okay? Any, any crypto project you want to invest in the project, you first of all go to coin market cap. Do this thing. Okay? Now, if I come to the coin market cap, go to the charts. Okay, the chart is loading. All right, while the chart is loading, go to the about, about the project, read details about the project. What are the outflow? If there's website on them, you can pick the website and read more about the website. What are the outflow? Then you can begin to dig more about the reliability of such project, that's number one. Number two, you check the previous performance. Which market is that coin near? Is it in a bullish market or in a bear market? Like the EDC is in a bear, is in a bear market because it has lost 99.99%, that's almost 100% of it a month ago started with. In which year? In 2015, somewhere. Okay, in 2015. So you look at it, what is the highest price of such coin? All time high of this coin in 2016 was $994. $994, okay? That was an all time high of this coin. Fantastic. What's the all time low of this coin? That is 0 0.0013, whatever, in 2020, March 2020. Lowest? Okay. Now, previous week now, and what is the previous current price of such coin? Okay, you go back up here and look at this about five cents. That's about 860 Satoshi. Oh, that is fantastic. Now, you're now going to check what other thing is this coin trying to achieve project around it. Then, okay, that same coin, EDC marketplace, Ecrofon. You know, all of this and all of that. It's okay, fine. We're going to use two mindsets. First mindset, if the coin is available for investing and it's too cheap, you look for money you invest. Now, haven't invested, then you watch the coin of its pattern. Come back to the chart. Look at the chart here. Look at, look at the, this abnormal chart. Look at farm, consolidate, go up. Yes, shaking, shaking, up here. Look at, look at, look at the peak, one, two, Three, four, five, six. Now, there are intervals. There are a bit long interval in between, maybe like three months, four months, five months. Like I studied the coin last year. You wouldn't imagine I traded this coin just twice last year. 
in the month of March, 23rd of March last year, till April, I was trading this coin, EDC. And after trading it, I have excess. I push the excess to the investment, which is the staking on the master node. So I haven't list the coin on the master node, and I checked it that, okay, what interval does this spike? Uh, in, in the July, it was making an attempt to spike, but I checked so many factors about it. It wasn't spiking. So, okay, no problem. And immediately I crossed like five months, I ensure I have enough volume of the coin, and which was here. Now, I parked the coin in that 2019, December, something like that, are uh, here, somewhere here. So December, on uh, November 2019, so March, April, May, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, that's about eight month interval. So I brought some volume to the market again and I got sold. How many times? Twice. The first badge of my buying and selling in three days, I did 228% which was cool. Then this next buying, selling, I think I did about 500, 538%. So twice in a year, 528% and 528% and 238%, that's almost about 800% in a year trading in, which was okay for me. Why? Because I studied the pattern of the coin. Now, meanwhile, the investment was going on. Now, but I have a mindset. In every investment of crypto I invest in, I have a mindset of a trader. And a trader always take profit. So it means right now on EDC, the accrual I'm having is like excess profit for me. So what have I done already now? Look at what I've done. The moment this coin was swapping, which I'm going to explain now, especially from some of you who are old and you never still understood some things in EDC now. Look at what I did. This coin was doing coin swap. Oh, coin swap, and the coin that will be on the exchange platform right now is no longer the coin, but a token, and is ERC20 enabled. So the ERC20 enabled token that is in the exchange market, I said, no problem. I have to go to each of those exchange platforms where the coin is being listed and bought the coin. So I bought the coin in some exchange platform. I bought it at 300 Satoshi. Some I bought it at 250 Satoshi. Some I bought at 400 Satoshi. Now, Felix, why do I need to go and buy EDC? Where I already have some volume that, he, that are here. Look at it. Why don't you remove this? Please, I just hope somebody will follow this analysis. Now, why don't I remove this volume that is here? No. I don't need to remove this volume. Why? The company had made this, an effort to stabilize this one to be perpetually on the investment platform of their company, which is their back office and the croco dot, uh, P2P croco.net, which is like peer-to-peer -peer conversion of this coin. And they have a peg price, a peg price of $0.005 per one. So what does that mean? What that means is if I'm removing this coin, I'm removing, look at it. If I'm removing um, 30,000 of this coin, so if I'm removing 30,000 of this coin, what I'm going to have is 1,500 1, units. That means it was a conversion ratio. Look at the conversion ratio. Please, somebody is following. Look at the conversion ratio. The conversion ratio is this. Uh, da, 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 where do I go? Okay.
Okay, now here we go. 30,000 units of this coin is converted by 20 times. So give me 1,500. That is what can be withdrawn as a token. That's what can be withdrawn as a token to exchange platform. For instance, I come to um, EDC, uh, so DC. I come to Yobi or Digifinex and all of that, you know, um, sorry. I know this can be can sound complicated for some of us who are very new, but you will get there. And so I'm just showing you, uh, you may not have so much in this view that we're just giving analysis about this coin. So the first is EDC Acrofund, okay, system. So, because in our platforms, in our platforms, we, we look at two things. Um, the first, so the first is the aspect of personal trading. But there are certain coins you trade. If you have more information about the coin, you will know how to trade it. I already know the pattern of EDC blockchain. Now, having known the pattern, I'm an investor there. So it means I end passively on EDC. But having understood that this EDC does not, it's not a volatile coin that way. It has a season, it goes up extremely. It has a season, it comes down drastically. So what do I do? So if I'm an investor, I put the money that I invested, I bring to the market and sell when there's a stream spike of the coin. And if I have some money, when the coin is about spiking, of course, I will know, I will buy some. Then, and I ride it up. When I sell, I wait for the price to crash down very well. I buy more volume, I take to my investment, and then it continue giving me some passive accrual from the leasing. There you go. So I can be fine, just like myself now. Every money invested on EDC, I got it back last year. Why? Not only because of EDC had given me accrual for one year, having given me one year, uh, let's say 10%, 10% in one year, that's 120% of the asset. So that makes sense. That means 100%, 120% of my investment had been gotten back. But at the time you want to sell your coin, maybe the price of the coin dropped very well. That's why I take advantage of this. Look at it. I copy this wallet, okay? And I go to my EDC back office, for instance, and I want to sell, maybe send in 1,500. Okay, so it's just telling me I do not have that. So I withdraw that. Now, if I withdraw, okay, minimum amount to withdraw is 100, okay? So if I withdraw this from my EDC back office, will I just withdraw directly? No, I must have come here as your back office will look like this, so that let it not be because you just saw it by default. All of us who are already investors in EDC, your back office look like this. You have your volume of EDC. Then what next do you do? And anytime, and I want to tell you, please take note. Nobody should ask me this question thereafter. I've not moved my EDC, uh, EDC token to my back office, or to my exchange platform. I only took fresh money to the exchange platform to trade the new one. And I can tell you now, in all the places I've put, I've done over 100% or more than 100%. Why? Because I bought some very low, 200 Satoshi, and the one I bought at 200 Satoshi, I've done up to 1,000 Satoshi. That's about 800% already. So you can see the opportunity. That's the dimensional future of cryptocurrency. But yet, I have the same coin in the, in the, in the leasing that the price now, look at what I'll do to myself, I'll shoot myself in the leg. If I have converted this volume, I'm converting this 30,000 volume at the rate of $1,150. That's what it means, at the rate of $150. Now, so I have to click on exchange, look at it. I have to click on exchange, and then you see the balance. You see the EDC slash EDC 20. Then I click here, if I now want to convert, so I have to type, is it 20,000 I want to move? So 20,000 now will give me 1,000 pieces because ratio one to 20. So give me 1,000. Now this 20,000, you can now know that this 20,000 I've, I've converted at the rate of how much? At the rate of $100. Now taking this volume now, 8,000, I'm gonna withdraw, it will charge me 1%. 1% of that should be about 10. So. That's 999 or 990. Let's say that. 
990 is what you take to this place. Meanwhile, you have converted at the rate of $100. So you come to your bids and you have deposited it and you now want to sell it. So why I told many of us in our community that leave your EDC for now, I don't want to sell. Wait when the whole thing is mature very well to an extent where you see that you are in very good profit. But if I have emergency, you can sell off. But to maximize this stock, don't sell. Now look at it, 1,000, 1,990. Uh, so if I want to sell it, 990 at this prevailing rate. Okay, at this prevailing rate. 851 Satoshi. Now, if I want to sell it, that's going to give me 0 0.0084 something. This is about 60 something dollars. Let's go here. $52. Does it make sense? Why? It doesn't make sense. Number one, look at the Satoshi. And I told myself, hey, Felix, before I can convert anything from my back office for sale, this new EDC on the exchange should have gotten to minimum of 2,000 Satoshi here. Minimum of 2,000 Satoshi. So if I'm bringing what I've converted by $150, which is 1,500 unit of the coin. So that gives me 0 0.03. That make a perfect sense. Let me use, let me show you guys something. This is the EDC. Okay, this is something I did here. Minimum price I set here for sale of this token is how much? 1,900 Satoshi. 2,500 Satoshi, 2,000 Satoshi. Now, once the market crosses this stage, once the market crosses 2,000 Satoshi, and so the benchmark for me to remove the volume in my back office of the EDC is 5,000 Satoshi. Okay, 5,000 Satoshi. So 5,000 Satoshi by 1,500 will give me about 0.07. So prevailing price now, which I will not sell, I will leave it in BTC until BTC is up to at least above 10,000, 20,000, or at least $12,000. Now, if it's at $12,000, now right now, that means that money, if, if, if EDC, the one I'm converting, and what I converted to is up to 2,000 Satoshi or 5,000 Satoshi, that means I will have this value in dollars. Then no problem. I can sell if I like, but I can keep it in BTC because if I keep it in BTC and BTC come to ten thousand dollars, that means this money is seven hundred and fifty dollars. That makes a lot of sense for me, and that's why I told everybody I said, don't be in the haste in your EDC. So if you want to convert, you can go ahead and convert. You can move it to your UB to any exchange platform. But I have not, I've not moved anyone, so I don't need to move. I don't want to move. Rather now, I just left this guy. Just imagine the sense here. And I, like I was sharing with somebody yesterday, I said, in cryptocurrency, you must be disciplined, you must be patient, you must be dedicated, and you must be foolish. He laughed about the foolishness. I said, good. Look at the foolishness. Fellas have investment of how many account in EDC, several account in EDC. Now, let's use a man who had invested about 2 million Naira in EDC last year. And... The two million naira bought him maybe just like ten account, okay, ten account. Maybe when the BTC, EDC was at two two hundred thousand per account to do, so he had invested two million naira. So each account cost two two hundred thousand. Now here he is. He has accruals of some of those coins. Accruals of these coins are here, and come him now. He come to me, I need that money and then I don't know what to do. I said, don't convert your money yet. The price is going to stabilize, so wait a while. Just keep accumulating. And he told me, okay, I can accumulate. Then there I come. I say, hey, EDC swapping the coins and to ERC20 token. 
Now they are now replacing all the old exchange platform, DigiPhoenix, Yobit, CoinBenex, Coin, uh, BitZ, and all of those things, and planning to even launch on Binance. So I would advise you now that EDC on those exchange platform is at 300 satoshi. I will have advised you right now to look for money, okay? I will have advised you right now to look for money and buy EDC. That is foolishness. It will be tempted to ask me, hey, Felix, the 2 million Naira I've invested, I've not been able to convert it. So why would I waste another money to buy the same coin? That is dimensional future of cryptocurrency. The same coin, being having a swap, look for fresh money and buy. So if you are bought at 300 Satoshi, when the guy got to 600 Satoshi, how much did you have? When the guy got to 600 Satoshi, that is 100% of any amount of money you probably must have invested. Now, the guy gets to 900 Satoshi, that is 200%. Okay, so 200%. So assuming you invested another 1 million Naira, so 100% is additional 1 million, 200% is additional 2 million. So you have excess profit of 2 million Naira. Why? the 1 million Naira you invested is back, then you are now still waiting for the other one. Can you see the foolishness to a conventional brain, but smartness to the four industrial revolution brain? So you have, that is the secret and technical know-how in the system. So you have, so it's foolishness for a man who have the same article that have not been sold. He look for money to buy more of the article. There are circumstances that you have to view. So he comes here, he bought, and he has sold, maybe he, he probably, just imagine the person who bought at 200 Satoshi, and this guy got to almost 1,200 Satoshi. I will just go back and see, 30 minutes. One hour, two hours. Okay, I think it was on DigiPhoenix. So that is the foolishness that many people cannot abide with because it's too simple to obey. So uh, while the DigiFinness is opening, uh, so I've just showed you on EDC, uh, if you are new, whoever that invited you to this platform, you can ask more. So if you can, and, but check the checklist I posted on our group, I said, what you do is leveraging on this industry, 60% of your portfolio to go to personal trading, where you are in charge of, you're in control. Then 20% of it can go to the master node listen, which is we use EDC blockchain, okay? So to go to master node listen, okay? So if we're using that, so you should, as a matter of importance, arrange and rearrange your portfolio by 60% on your personal trading, 20% on the EDC leasing and 15% uh, on uh, POS taking, okay? Proof of stake, uh, staking, uh, we have a lot of them, so I'm, I'm still gonna explain some of them um, before we call it today, okay? EDC. Okay, so now, aha, good, good. Whoosh, crazy. <laughs> I never knew that this guy got to 1,300 Satoshi on this. And somebody bought a 200 Satoshi on the same place. So 200 Satoshi to 1,000 is how many percent? When it was 400, 600, 800, 1,000, size 800%. 800% 800 recorded. And that was when I did 990% on this DigiPhoenix. 990% in two days. Did I touch my EDC in my back office? Absolutely no. Apart from I did experiment to prove, you know, is it actually coming? Because when you tell somebody, don't touch your EDC, just leave it there. 
You may look at it, maybe it's not even withdrawable. All these Wayo people, they have come again. <laughs> so maybe it's talk. Maybe I don't, I don't entire one chance. If not, what, you know, it's foolishness. It take any man who really want to do the business by himself to understand. He just comes in, um, he say, hey, ah, bro, the investment I did, I say it's CDC. So I can see this, the thing is packing the market. Many of you will get that confusion. Some of your clients that are not ready to learn anything at all, we call you and said, ah, bros, is it not that EDC we invested that you say is doing 1,000% um, uh, now? So that means that my money is 1,000%. Can you, can you help me convert it and give me? You are not telling him, no, don't, you don't follow the update on EDC. There's a coin swap. He said, what is swap again? You people have started. That's why I don't like all this nonsense. Sorry, forgive me if I'm too rude about this. I don't motivate unmotivated people in a business like this. I can exhaust myself for ready person. There is nothing called luck. Readiness meets with opportunity. Now, people who are not ready, there is no motivation you can do whatsoever that they will go for. Rather, they are overload. They will give you headache. Sorry, forgive me. Somebody will say, let's just try and carry them along. Please. Auntie Peter was strong before he lifted others. You have to be strong. You have to be on your two feet, two legs, before you look down and say, let me, somebody who is down is more heavier than you than you are up. It's easy for somebody who is down to pull you down than you to raise him up because he's a heavy duty. So you have to be very careful that way not everyone will understand this crypto space at ease from the beginning. Remember, it's an imagined industry. So before many people will know, many of us will come in by choice. Many will come in by force. Now people who come in by force may not make the money. They will only be users. Of course, just imagine after coronavirus and many government of the country said, the way the coronavirus is spreading, please, I think we need to legalize this digital currency system. So let them be making, and Bitcoin, boom, get to like $50,000. That's when many of your friends call you. Hey, that Bitcoin you told me, I saw in CNN, though. It's like, say, it don't be serious. The thing don't make sense, past sentence. They say, eh. say hey, please, I won't invest now. The question you ask is that, how much of his salary can he spare to buy one Bitcoin at that time? How much? Now he's 6,000 plus, and he's, he's speaking grammar. Now, that time. So please, I want to still beg us, don't motivate and unmotivated people. Share the opportunity with people, and a time we come, you won't see somebody, just like what the joke we're racking on, our, on Mega Green Club forum this afternoon. We say, time we come, you come out with your money, you will not see somebody who will put you through. Because everybody will be busy with their project. A time we come, like myself, anytime I'm taking time to train, I don't have time to do my train. I kill more, more fishes when I have time. Just thank God for the quarantine. Perhaps if the quarantine was not there, I may have not been able to do my 990% I did on EDC. But because I was at home, hey, boom. I said, but I send the update. Hey, everybody, take advantage, take advantage. It's your choice. We give the information and instructions. You take the actions. Results shows when the last thing is done. The last thing is the action taken, okay? And so, there we go. The person is telling you, hey, please, help me convert my, <laughs> like, I think like uh, one, one of my twin brother clients was telling him, please, can you convert my EDC for me? <laughs> Ignorance of the highest order. So can you convert my EDC for me? Please help me convert EDC for me. And it was like, what's he talking about? Because he saw that EDC was doing 1,000%. He didn't know how it comes to be. Now, what am I saying? The EDC in my back office is there, okay? It's there. Now, I saw the opportunity. I tap into it. Even if it's 100,000 Naira I was able to spare and do 990%, that is 990,000 Naira, guys. That is crazy. That is crazy. Then why the EDC is waiting? Now, the way this is I'm waiting, I cannot have the choice to say, until I see this at $10, I won't sell one. Will it happen? Well, I don't know. Don't put the triggers on my head. But if before half, you know, after half, you know, before the end of this year, I see EDC at $10, don't say how. If you say how, that means you don't follow this. That means you are not following this. A coin that has done $994 in 2016, I'm not sure it's too bad for another interval of this period for it to do $10. I'm not sure it's too bad till 2020, 2021, 2021. I'm not sure it's too bad for the coin to do 
out of this long hike. So if the phenomenon happened after the halving and all coins are moving, then I'm not sure this coin is too bad to do $100. So if it does $100, that makes a lot of sense. So my $1,500 multiplied by $100, please don't look for my house number. That is $150,000. Oh, that's it. So what should I do? I think that is the multi-dimensional, the dimensional futures of cryptocurrency. I have the stock in the leasing, and then I'm taking advantage of the trade. But is it everybody that take advantage of the trade? No, not even many persons know how to trade the coin. They are only their investors. They are making the money fine. Now, do you know that there are people who are trading the EDC coin on Yobit? It was recent. There are a lot of them were asking questions. What happened to our EDC? No, 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 no. A lot of them are trading. They don't even know that there's a project attached to it that's called the master node on Ecofund. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have seen, you know, if you want to convert your EDC, you can go ahead. But for me, I don't think it's necessary for now. But if you think Felix is deceiving you, go ahead and convert it. Nobody hold your hands. Convert it, move it to Yobit or DigiFinance anywhere, and then sell it off. Congratulations to do that. Now, for some of you guys who have not done your KYC on your Ecrophone, please try and do. You know, I'm so busy. I, like I was checking one of my clients' accounts. I just saw that it has reached the next stage of putting, uh, what's it called? Something like phone number or something. Okay, the sky number, sky, the Skype. Putting the Skype and then uploading the address verification, you know, statement of account and all of that. So if you have not done yet, please go and do. Uh, uh, it's, it's so important, you need to do it. So if you have not done yours, so please go and do. And so that, um, if you are new, whoever that have invited you to this forum, you can get back to him after and ask him, how does it go? Nobody is forcing you to pick anything. We have an area of opportunities for you. But remember, what we prioritize is personal trading. But there are so many things. Um, uh, in our local dialect, they said, uh, so uh, it's, 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 it's beyond just a surface, OK? so. A lot of people are getting the surface, but a lot of people are not getting the index. And so if you have not done your KYC, please go and do at least your first account. Over time, other accounts will follow. You know, I was telling somebody the other day, I said, all the account that have not done the KYC will be done. You know why? If you DC get to $100 and you're having $150,000 seated in a particular place, you will hire somebody and pay him $10,000. And he will rush to do everything for you. And you know, just give me your ID card. Let me just verify and move this money out. He said, bro, what am I with? I even have double ID card, you know? And so go and do your KYC. If you look at this account, I've not done the KYC. It has a career of 73,000 EDC. So all I need to do is to go to my profile. Okay, go to my profile, fill all the detailed information and then save it and then come here Come here, you can see I've not done anything. So come here, fill all the detail, submit the ID card, blah, blah, blah. So I've not done it. This is, uh, this one, uh, please say, it's later, I'll come back for you. And so by the time this gets to like maybe 200,000 units of it, because every day this account is accruing 20,000 EDC every day, uh, 2,023 EDC every day. That means in a month, it can earn about 60,000. EDC every month. So in 12 months, if we end 2000, if we end 2200, 2023, oh, sorry, 2023 multiplied by 30 days. Okay, that is uh, 6, 60,690 multiplied by 12. So annual residual will be. Seven seven hundred and twenty-eight thousand two hundred and eighty. Okay, divide by twenty. Thirty-six thousand four hundred and forty-one multiplied by ten. Three hundred and sixty-four thousand one forty. Okay. All right. Divide by ten. So hundred dollars multiplied by hundred. 
Okay, that's about three million six hundred and forty-one thousand four hundred and four hundred dollars. Okay, multiply by three eighty. Oh, let's see three sixty. Let's see Bitcoin uh, dollars in Nigeria now normalize very well that time. This is one, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> now, guys, listen to me. Guys, listen to me. Um, when when Tika Tiwari when Tika Tiwari talked about phenomena, it's very we hard. I don't sleep tonight, too. <laughs> I have to be careful with this one. No. Now, now, when Tika Tiwari when Tika Tiwari mentioned the phenomena. It doesn't take us one second for people like us to believe. Why? Because when you see the picture of the future, you can decide anything. But somebody who has not even, somebody who is snoring, why some other persons are mm -hmm. in five years advanced technology more than now, somebody is snoring. When you wake him up, he's struggling to even stand to understand. Eh? Where am I, sir? What are you saying? Now, somebody is five years ahead. So the brain will not work the same. And if you see that the baptism of money to people who are involved in crypto before us, you, you find it difficult to believe. And, not that. and so what I tell people is that different business, different status, different stuff, bless different people. It all depends on the frequency you tune to it. So let's forget about that. So that is EDC. I'm not gonna talk about EDC any longer. I've just showed you, uh, some of us, both old and new, those old people, go and do your KYC, or uh, just be accruing your earning, don't sell yet, you waste it. If you sell now, you waste it. I can tell you that. Time is coming, you will sell, and you will now regret, why do I sell? It has happened to many people last year. You know, somebody who has sold 30,000 EDC at, at 60,000 Naira, at 80,000 Naira, and that same year, that same 30,000 EDC got to about 350,000. So who is deceiving who? So it's not a perishable good. Leave it, take time. When the season presents itself, take advantage of the season. And that's just the basic. For new people, what I would advise you is part of the coin you can take advantage of to trade it. And at the same time, keep little money. Because if I, if I emphasize how much you should invest on the listen now, I will sound like a marketing uh, motivational speaker, not one. And if I tell people, like, close persons around me will ask me, hey, well, it's crypto. Many close persons around me ask me about crypto. You know what I told them? I say, hey, it's still very, it's still risky. You cannot do the business. Man, it's a very risky business. But the question the person did not ask himself and didn't give himself brain is that it is too risky. That is the only business you do. Why do you have confidence in a very risky business? And you are telling me, don't, don't come there. I just told him, hey, guy, I don't know. Me. Another person asked me one day, I said, you may not be able to do my business. It's too fragile. You know, these are not real business. You know, some of those, you have, you have store. Well, face those ones. Face those ones, you know. Clearly, I'm forwarding. Those ones are better open because they are tangible. This one is just one fake business, you know. And uh, you were like, oh, but that's true. That's true. That's true. You're right. It's very volatile. They are talking about that business. It's too risky. You didn't know the more the risk, the more the money, you know. And so I have to let, I have to disengage such person. So when you sound so much motivating, the person will not even be able to make independent decisions. One fact, with one raw truth. Whoever that's going to be encouraged, let him be encouraged. Whoever is going to be discouraged, let him go. The more you motivate people, the more you give yourself problems. That's the truth. So EDC on that dimension, I'm not going to encourage anybody that I would advise you try as much as possible, do what you can do. One of my friends told me, say, you, you, you have television and you don't have vision, and you think you, your tomorrow is bright. He said, you watch the television, watch African magic, work everything, and then somebody will take you out unaware. And so those are things. Depend just by yourself and do what you need to do. Now, uh, I wouldn't have time to talk about Terra. So for some of us who are new, uh, Terra, the same thing, the price very down. For me, I bought more. I don't know you. It's your choice. You know how your priority is and all of that. And so, but like, like what I told people, if I have accumulated to my benchmark, everybody should have a benchmark. And 
the, 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 the what is it called, consolidation we want, that if I have up to this volume, I'm good. Once you have up to that volume, any additional volume you buy on credit, you perhaps may not necessarily put that one on the mini POS. Just keep it set prices for sale. If you buy the credit at 0.0011 Naira, then you can keep for sale at 0 .00, uh, 0 0.0077 and over. Like the way I sold last two weeks or three weeks there, about, I sold at 0 0.007, 0 0.008, and 0 0.01. That was excess. Like 50,000 Naira was given about 172,000 Naira. You know, as at the rate I bought it, how much more if you are buying the very cheap right now? So, but I'm not marketing people to take advantage of it. Remember, the portfolios of our business is that your personal trading is very, is is so much composite. If that is the only thing I can force anybody, please go and do. It is important, and then it now depends on his readiness will now make him to learn it. I can force anybody to say it's a must for you. Uh, a lot of people that have come to our office in Port they say, ah, trading, they say it's too risky, it's too difficult. I say, that is the one you will start with by force. Either you like it or not. As far as you're saying you're going to be part of our community, it's a must. Go, why? Let me tell you the secret. That is the skill set, a very soft skill set, that I see that you can use till even your old age. Like right now, I trade literally two of silver and gold, but I, I don't, those ones are long term. But I try and you know my own beat, some silver and gold, some silver and gold. So over time, the same skill set is what you use, it's just a dynamics. For you to blend will be easier than somebody who does not even attend at all. So that's what I can force anyone. And so all those uh, projects is an advantage for you to invest in them when the whole world has not really known, understood where those places are, those things are going. Let me tell you. The, like the first EDC is now, it's another very wicked cycle. May, I know many people didn't observe. And that was what I told, uh, I think uh, when they said they were talking about, you know, swapping uh, ERC-22, a lot of people go, ah, this nonsense, this rubbish, idiot nonsense. I said, why don't you sit down and look at how you hit this thing well? Prepare yourself. This is, this is a global war coming. Then see how you can attack and and then when the things start happening, many of them were away when EDC, the swapping start, and then the leasing on the other exchange. If they were in, some will have done 500% with fresh money. Even if, it's, even if it's borrow money, and you see somebody who give him like 2 million naira, and he dump it on the EDC since that time on TG Phoenix, and only 200% because he may not wait for 500%. Only 200%, you're okay. Hello, one million. How much did you give me? He said two million. Oh, two million. Okay, I will see you in the next two weeks. Okay, but that's risk you are taking. And then, and then you buy the EDC, and then the EDC got angry from 200 Satoshi or whichever Satoshi you bought it. You wouldn't wait for probably that 800% it has done, and it's, it, has, it has not started anyway. And there you go. Uh, the, the, the Mr. Abdul, Mr. Abdul said he, he wanted buying EDC. And he saw that 770, and he, well, he was waiting for uh, a reversal. Uh, but uh, actually, he was right. By the normal knowledge in the crypto trading, and even general trading, every spike must record the pullback for a correction. But because he was fresh to EDC, he didn't know that every coin have what we call pattern. And EDC pattern does not follow that. It's in its own Christmas now. It can go to... I'm not going to be surprised if I see EDC token now. In the next two weeks, even before the halving, seen it at 10,000 Satoshi. And so somebody who's at, I want to buy at 770, and he said, I'm waiting for the reversal for correction. And he said, eh, is that you are waiting for? I say, yes. Is that what you are waiting for? Okay. Next, he moved to 800. Next, he moved to 900. Next, he go to 1,000. Up to now, I'm sure, like Mr. Uh, Mr. Abdul, Stop, do must have still be waiting for EDC at, at uh, its correction. So the correction, the, the best correction EDC has done now, it has only corrected back to 760, just little. And it didn't waste time, which I'm sure he may not even be online to see where the correction has. And he has returned back to 860, he's still doing the correction.
But because the pattern is different from the general, it's not a highly volatile coin. It's a trending coin at interval. Trending interval, trending interval, okay? So there we go that I've been able to maximize. And so where you have given the, the person you collected two million naira from, and then you have invested, and then you have done 200% in three or four or five days, then 200%, that's additional two million naira. I go back to him and say, this is your one million. How much did you charge you? Say, uh, charge you probably, I don't know how many percent, maybe 5% or 10%. And to him, 10% was very bogus. 10% of 2 million naira uh, takes about 400,000. I don't know. I don't know how much. Or it takes about 400,000. I don't know. Something like that. If it's like that, then it's like that. Then, then you go there and so you have extra 2 million naira to pay 400,000 to the young, to the person. Uh, is it up to 400? I think something like that. Aha. Uh -huh. 2 million naira, 200%. 200,000. Two, two Sir? 200,000. Oh my God. 200,000. <laughs> 200,000. And then, yes. thank you very much. So you have gone back to say, Oga, can we see? And then I want to give you a good treatment. And he said, okay, then this is, hey, your, two, this is your 2 million era. This is your 200,000, 2.2. Say, wow, so fast. Say, yes. I say, no, you can still borrow more. You can still borrow. Say, no, no, don't worry. Thank you. No, I don't care, but you are <laughs> <laughs> and then, then there you go there you go you now said uh, well I, I really appreciate you I give you another 200,000 or 100,000 because there you are 2 million naira 100% is another 2 million naira 200% is another 2 million naira. that's 4 million naira extra if you are not too stingy you, I mean you can you can baptize that man with another 200,000 I say thank you very much God will bless you the man too will say that what he do. He said, no, the blessing, the fact is real, it's direct, it's raw. In fact, if I, I bless you myself, you know, and that is it. That is it. And you move on. Meanwhile, you have the former investment. You can see that crypto is not the type of investment you do in the conventional business. That, that one, I can bet with you, God, forgive me if you're an economist here, you're an accountant, you are chartered, you have done ICANN. I cannot, all manner of professional, you get more confused in crypto. I can tell you till tomorrow. If you are so addicted to that, your conventional knowledge of those books, like Robin said, economy is the study of this woman and whatever, you will be confused in crypto. Crypto is opposite of the conventional system. And so that's all about, so the credit, I may not need to go too much to the credit. And the last on the list I want to show Okay, yeah, for some of us who have not taken part on the staking, please, especially new entrants, most of us who have just started our trade, please let me show us something very importantly. Most of us who have just started our trade. Now, those of you who start your trade just recently, uh, when you go back, I, I'm still gonna revisit on our group. We have primary coins and secondary coins, which I may not mention. Guys, is something happening? CBTC. Second, first candle, second candle red. Confirmation if you land in the third candle and at less than 5,800, guys, go and collect that young man at 4,005. We're waiting for confirmation. So the BTC is showing its magic. So that means those are my fine guys on uh, beer. Uh, Eta beer, and then um, they will have been doing some good things. Okay, you guys are trying from eleven dollars to fifteen dollars. That's a profit now. Okay, so <clears throat> now, please, once you buy your coins, especially those your primary coins, number one, and two, those of you who subscribe for Tika Tiwari coins, I am begging you in the name of God. If you have not learned how to trade very well, as you finish buying them, open your trust wallet or Coinomi wallet or um, which other coin wallet, that Coinomi wallet, or in fact, if you can buy Ledger Nano or Treasure and okay. move those. Thank you, sir. And move those, move those coins off the exchange. 
So you, your own class, you are a class of holders. Buy the coins, move them into external wallets, please. External wallet is better, more decentralized than exchange trade platform, like finance and all of that. Don't think an exchange cannot be attacked. Crypto has gone for life. I'm not saying anything will happen to, but it's more porous. If you are holding a coin, any coin redeem exchange platform, I beg you, move it off the exchange trading platform, keep it on your wallet. Secondly, go and engage them on the staking. For instance, we have one chain, it's a wallet to what? To lease and stake one coin. One, not one coin, not that scam. One chain, one. So it's a place where you can buy the one chain, one coin, and move it to the one chain. It's a mobile app where they have a validator, a delegator. And so if you're holding such coin, don't keep it in your back office. Move them to one chain. If you go to your uh, tablet or your phone, go to your Play Store or Apple Store, whatever, and then type one wallet w a n w a n then wallet one wallet is a mobile app one wallet it's a mobile app okay so one chain so please uh, it's very important in so that uh we don't have ourselves blamed let's see one chain decentralized finance interoperability and all of that it's a very strong uh, project, okay? So you can go download it, okay? You can go download one chain wallet. So if you just go to your um, browser, uh, what is it called, sorry? I said browser. Go to your Play Store and download it. It's not for a desktop, it's for app. So go to your app and download it. So if you buy any one chain coin, take it off. Another place you can go list it is on KuCoin. So some of us who have KuCoin wallets are uh, exchange. So you can buy one chain. Uh, I love the pattern. Uh, uh, one of our one of our uh, uh, member is using. He lives on the on the on the app, and they are paying his the volume on the app. So he took that volume paid out and go and put it on the, uh, what's it called? And put it on the, on, on uh, KuCoin. So it took the profit and keep it on KuCoin and KuCoin again pay him another profit. So one year, one chain leasing or staking. So you can see proof of stake block rewards. One year staking of one chain gives you additional 18% of your token. Uh, how many of you guys watched that thing I sent on our um, on our, um, our Mega Green Club um, when I analyze uh, this guy, analyze, um, analyze, um, by me guys, uh, analyze um, BNB. I was saying to some people that you thought, you know, real guys in crypto, you thought they are foolish enough to have kept their coin in a staking for just 10% or even 5% in a year. They are not stupid. They know more than what you think you know. They know that those things they are keeping, they have capacity to grow in fiat appreciation. And so there they kept it on in a place where rather than just holding it, doing nothing, they kept it where additional 5% will be given to them. So with that, they have additional, so if they have 5,000 or if they have 1,000 in that place and they are paying them 10% uh, for a year, we call it annualized tokenization. And that gives them 100 additional volume of that token. Ordinarily, if they didn't keep it where the additional fraction will be paid to them in a year, they will have that 1,000. Yes, the price go up, 
possibly in a year or two, in two years, the coin may do 5,000, 10,000% or even 20,000% growth. So uh, you have maybe $100 or $1,000 investment in it and it has done 20,000% growth. That is crazy. So you have, you know, that, you know, 20,000 growth. So 1,000 is 10X. So 1,000 is 10X. So 20,000 is 10 times 20. That's about, I don't know, those things, I'm not an accountant. It's an accountant that knows how to count people's money for them, even if it's not in their own personal bank account. So not good at that. So you have to, uh, you have to now understand why those people keep such stuff because they know where they are going. So please, one chain, you can download on your phone and then keep uh, one coin, one, one, and stick it there, 18%. In a year, so if you keep one thousand one chain there, you're going to have additional. You're going to have additional uh, one hundred and eighty one chain in a year. So if one chain grew from the amount where you bought it and to as high as one thousand percent, of course you can do your arithmetic. So trust wallet is a wallet that is a must for everyone to have because some of your coin you have to move there. Then some coins you can still uh, stake on, uh, you know, on Trust Wallet. There are so many of them, XTZ, uh, Kava, um, uh, uh, what is this guy called? Kava, um, Bitrez, uh, is it BTT coin? Is it Tron coin? And so many of those guys. So you can keep them for, stick, uh, for staking so on your trust wallet, okay? So you have Kava, you have um, uh, Tron, you have um, uh, so many of them. I know I stick a lot of them there, so I cannot remember, you know? So you can go stick some of those coins there. And I have told you again that please, if you have, you can stick Kava, you can stick uh, Cosmos, that's Atom, Tron can be sticked there, Tesos, that's XTZ, can be sticks there, even, uh, oh, this reminds me, this is my project, I've not checked it. This guy, ZRX, I stick it somewhere and then I say, oh, ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so a lot of them there you can stick. If you wanna know if those coins, any coin you have there are being stick, just tap on them. And then once you tap, you will see more. Anyone you tap on and you see more, that means you can stick it there. So you get this stick and then, can get fractions, annualized tokenization of some of those coins. Remember, you are holding them for the price to get bigger before you get them sold. So within that period, you should have accrued some volumes of such coins. So cover, you can stake. So trust wallet, another place we stake some coins, uh, maybe after now, I think many of our community already have, I sent the link to us that time was uh, my container. You know, there's a particular coin specifically I stake there. It's called Energy Coin. Okay, uh, this guy. So uh, I may not have time to give some analysis of uh, reasons when I pick some coins. I told you everything in cryptocurrency is sentiment. Okay, N R J or something. Okay, NRG. So, uh, okay, you come in? Okay, it's coming up. So, uh, my container is another place where so I stake this coin. And if you read about this coin, look at it. It's the next generation proof of stake, purest cryptocurrency that combines smart contract compatibility, decentralized governance, and a self funding treasury. Energy was funded by Tommy Ward R, who imagined a better sustainable cryptocurrency that had the potential for mass adoption. The project has since grown to more uh, than 60 team members and 225,000 community members all working together to create a cryptocurrency for the future. So you can learn more about it. Now, but since it was created, it's still recording 
about 500 and 517 percent sorry guys about 517 percent on energy uh sorry i think i blew something Okay, so you can read more about energy coin. Okay, uh, I don't know. Sometimes some my my spirit bring up some coins uh, for us to read more, and I don't know. I'm not a magician, <laughs> but I do a lot of research. Okay, so <clears throat> it will help us. Uh, uh, this guy, what are you doing here? Okay, so my container have energy coin staking at about at about eighteen or nineteen percent. Let me check. My container, I think at about eighteen or nineteen percent of it analyzed tokenization. Nineteen point five percent analyzed tokenization. If you don't believe in any project, don't go staking them, please. If you don't know much about the project, it's not about the percent they are paying you, okay? A coin might be paying you 2% for the year and you still stake it, why? Because you know where the coin is going to. For instance, let me use a practical example. I can stake Ethereum anywhere, why? Even if it's 2% they are paying me. Now you're buying Ethereum now, maybe at how much? I don't know what amount is it now. But let's say you can buy Ethereum at $120. And you're able to buy 10, that's $1,200. You know that after the spike and the phenomena after the halving, and uh, Ethereum in the next one, two years can have potential of doing above $5,000 per one. And you are holding 10. And you bought one at $120. And you want to hold it like your landed property. Can I tell people, some of your crypto projects would like your landed property. If somebody is holding land for the next 20 years because of 500 or 1,000% growth, why don't you hold your digital asset for the next three years? For fantastic profit. So if Ethereum can get to $5,000, I'm just cutting it down because I can be telling you some of those review and the research we do, some of those algorithms, you will not believe it. Okay, you believe, just like when Tika said, 1 million percent. Many people are criticizing him, ah, the nonsense. But when he showed you the report of those previous activities, if I was not involved in Ethereum in 2016, 2017, that bought one Ethereum at $5. One Ethereum at five dollars, and 2018 selling it at one Ethereum, one thousand four hundred. You can do the statistic of the calculation. And there were people who bought that same Ethereum before me at less than a dollar. People bought it at less than a dollar. Somebody bought a coin at less than a dollar, and the coin was sold at a thousand four hundred dollars. That is crazy. That is insane. So if you have some of those analysis like that, you want to keep it. So if such coin is being kept in a place, they're going to pay you a certain percentage. Why not? So I tell people just like, somebody can tell you some of those Ponzi schemes that people are putting in money to. Now you want to pay me 20% or 40% or 50% every month. It's not the matter. On what? Somebody is paying you 50% on paper money, on Naira, on dollar, and all of that. It doesn't have capacity of growth. Outside the 50%, you don't have opportunity of your own internal percent. So digital asset give you internal percent beyond even the percentage the person is going to pay you. And that's why you cannot give your asset to one stupid group of people who claim to be paying people percentage on the name you want to make money. You have wasted $3,000 when price of Bitcoin. Like I, I did the analysis sometime of some of those investments I've done before. And I kept my money in a place where I subscribed at $3,500. But the Bitcoin consumed was 5.9 Bitcoin. And after like one year, I actually thought I broke even. But when I have better understanding, I knew I didn't broke even. By fiat, I broke even. But by asset, it was nonsense. Why? 5.9 BTC. And because we don't learn. 5.9 BTC was paid somewhere. And because I was not, I was carried away by percentage, you make this money, and 5.9 BTC was kept somewhere. And it's gone for it. And now, that's $3,500 of the money I spend in buying the asset. We always, some of us, we always look at the cost instead of looking at the value. So you are looking at calculating your percentage on the cost instead of calculating your percentage on the value. What is the value? 
a 5.9. What is the cost? $3,500. In one year, because there was a boom in 2017, December, I made $15,900 on that mining project, on that same package. So $15,900, take away $3,500. It was assumed I earned how much? About $12,400. Bravo. Oh boy, this is money. Nonsense. Calculate $17,000 multiplied by $5.9. Am I brave? That is the high level of stupidity. But because your level of orientation and you know, training and information was low, now I'm jumping, man, this is $3,500. That is the cost. And that's what an average Nigerian, for instance, always calculate their percentage on. And assuming if I put 1 million, I hope if they pay me 20, 20% every month, I hope I can make more money. Meanwhile, that seed you are planting have capacity to give you 1 million percent in that same period. So $3,500, bravo, minus $15,900. So to me now, I've broken even by $12,400, which is cool. That was excess money. I don't know the capacity that will calculate. Then go by this now. The same BTC 5.9 multiply by $17,000. That is $100,300. $100,300. dollars $100, You thought I thought I was wise now. And if you take all the $15,900 away, $15,900, $84,400, shame on me. So, <laughs> so those are the things you have to calculate and check. <laughs> you understand? Not learning pattern. But if? Not learning pattern, learning code. Not learning. Thank you, oh, officer. Ah. <laughs> you are needed here. <laughs> Very much present, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but, but the point is this: if you didn't give us yourself, uh, uh, you know, just like sorry, I'm not preaching. Um, this is not church, but sorry, every of my business is based on the biblical principle, and that's why I adopt it all the time. He said, "Till I come, give attendance to reading, and it's a study to put those to to to." To show yourself approved. So not, many times I look at him, I, I check back, and that's what I tell people. I say, you need to improve your, on yourself every day, every second. But somebody is depending on just like will of activities, you now check what is the asset and what is the cost. So you have to check the value. So check the value. I say, oh, that is why the tokenization of proof of stake that is taking, leasing, and all of that come to play. All those things have overtook. Guys, I hope you guys are seeing what's happening in EDC again. We just saw this guy at 800-something uh, 800 just now, and then take another trend. Then say, I don't want to wait for anybody. Can't kill myself. So looking at the asset value is what those tokenization checked. So you now have my container, you have KuCoin, even Binance. I was checking recently now, I think I saw one update. Let me check if it's true. Um, let's check. So we have the, the Binance, even the Hotbit. I'm still trying to update the Hotbit. I saw Ethereum uh, sticking on Hotbit too, but I'm trying to still check. But I, we have to be very careful to not to uh, do so much of uh, those investment on exchange platforms so much. So yeah, if you have a place where uh, staking is taking place that is an independent external wallet, then you can um, go more on that than exchange platform. I'm not saying they will take our money, but exchange platform generally it's uh, it's a bit riskier than uh, decentralized uh, platform. Okay, okay. So you can even see Carver too is take here analyze, which makes sense. See Carver here. 
analyze, which makes sense, 14 to 16 percent. That's good. That's good. Uh, atom, six to nine percent. That makes sense. Loom, 10 to 12 percent. Lisk, this is my coins. I don't know where I kept it. Any coin you see that they don't give so much percentage, fear them. They are wicked coins. See this EOS. You don't have EOS and you are in cryptocurrency community. You are Yahoo without.com. I'm sorry for you. Even if it's one, go and buy and keep now. Anyone who is listening to me, even if it's one EOS, it's very cheap now. One or two or three or four or ten. Go and buy and keep. Sorry for you. If you don't have EOS, I will not talk so much about them anyway. 15 mm. to 6 percent. So if you don't have EOS and you say you are in crypto, I don't know what you are doing. Listen, crypto trading is not about you are always on the system every day. Wicked crypto people are people, they hold certain projects that you may not understand why they are holding it. When the boom happens, you'll be lost. That's the truth. You'll be lost. You'll be looking at what is happening. How are these people doing it? So because they... Um, that's why you need to be checking updates. Uh, which one was I checking the other time? Yeah. Okay. Okay, was one? Was it one? Okay, so if you don't have EOS, go and have. And you can do more things about EOS. The way the technology of EOS, like copy card of, um, see, EOS very cheap. Copy card of uh, checking on energy. Energy. Energy, okay. I'll, I'll go back there. Look at US all time high last as uh, twenty two dollars. Um <laughs> when you okay. Uh, another coin I want to say is this coin. You are blessed. Those of you guys who are joining up for two, for the first time today, I'm just saying some things. So I'll see if I'm drunk. You don't have new. If you borrow money to buy it, go and buy it and keep. Neo presently is seated at three thousand three hundred and twenty-five percent from all-time high of of its beginning. That means anyone who kept Neo from the all-time low since twenty sixteen. I'm not saying you should have been keeping it, but I'm just telling you how crazy this project is. Is this seated? at 3,325%. Now, but EOS, uh, say EOS, NEO as a crazy coin uh, has done, the, what's it called? Okay, this coin has done $196 in 2018. $120, $196 in 2018. In a beer market, $196. Now, there you are. How much is it right now? The coin is stupid $6. So what is it, what sense is it giving to you? Okay, it's giving you a sense that this coin have capacity to replay what it has done before. Don't say I tell you this. EOS is likely, after all the phenomena, if the phenomena play out very well, which, of course, nothing is holding it, uh, EOS is likely to double play or triple play this at all time high. It's not a financial advice, guys. It's capable of triple play this guy. If you triple play this guy, that's to say, he, uh, uh, Neo have capacity to do almost $600, if not up to $750 all time high. Then if it's a coin that can have such capacity, why don't I buy now at $6 and just keep? Okay, what if in the next one year, Neo never get to that $600, but it's at $200, or it's previous year, 2018 cycle? Then I'm still not lost. I'm still in money without stress. Your pattern of trade is not to stress yourself on this thing, is to take advantage. Remember, you are an informational trader, and not just a professional trader. So as much as you can try, is to try to hold certain coins that you know have capacity to, to do this, blah, blah, blah. 
community and all working together to create cryptocurrency for the future so you can learn more and uh 516 uh, percent okay an all-time high on energy has done 9.9 dollars .9. right now how much is energy what if energy just do the previous play this is 1.3 dollars 1.63 dollars then if energy played the old time then that's that makes a lot of sense and then you kept it somewhere they can pay you 19 percent or let's say 10 percent for holding it for a year and energy will play back. I'm not saying you should put all your money to all of these things, but they are good backup for you. And that was why we said, it depends on how you want to retwist the whole thing. So you have Btrue, you have Celsius, and you have a lot of things like that. So I mentioned one chain wallet. I talked about Trust Wallet, My Container, uh, KuCoin, Binance, uh, Hotbit, Btrue, Celsius, ETC, where your stake can happen, US proof of stake, you know. And um, uh, please, for some of us who uh, think there's no time, we I think I'll, I'll reserve every other thing. But please take this. I have some security tips I will have to like still remind us. Note this the higher the price of Bitcoin start moving, the more activities of hackers and the more vulnerable any person who do anyhow with his applications his app, his email, his phone numbers, and all of that, the faster they can pick your money. I have an account of a woman who, we have built his portfolio, her portfolio from $10,000. Yeah, in 2017, we have built her portfolio, or 2018, we have built her portfolio in her trading portfolio on Binance from $9,000 to $25,000. And in one day, in one day, less than five hours, all were picked up, all. When I mean all, nothing, swept. So don't let anyone sweep your sweat, please. Better you are security conscious. Now, number one, security tip number one, mm -hmm. of course, some of us in our community were already used to some of those tips. Make use of hashtag at the beginning and the end of your password, any password you're creating. Maybe you're creating a password and then use hash, hash, dot hash, dot hash this 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 hash dot hash dot hash stuff like that you know it's very important uh, many of you will not understand the coding language the hashtag is always so difficult to translate even when you are using software to open the source code of it so it can give different wrong interpretation and the hacker will think he has gotten you and so fortunately for him it's difficult number two Create simple but peculiar password. What do I mean? Simple but peculiar. Simple language. Don't complicate issue by if I, by the time I use a capital letter B, C, and lower letter, I put hash, I put um, star, I put even uh, invited comma, I put. See, you will just kill yourself. When you now want to log in, you lock yourself out. You are now struggling. What did I? If I say, okay, if I say I put a uh, invited comma, let me put high. Oh. It was exponential. No, it was a jumper. You just, you'll be sweating. you sweating. <laughs> <laughs> you know the way, you know the way you want to enter your, your key, refuse to open. And then sun, Abirene is bugging you very well. Mosquito is biting you and everything. You do, do. You get angry. You are looking for salt to cut it, you know, in the hostel. No way. You will sweat, you know. And so be careful. Uh, simple but peculiar. What is peculiar? Like um, you come from an area, there are local languages that you are very used to. So those local languages are not common to everybody. So combine it with English and that English will be slang. Love is L-O-V-E. Then love slang is L-U-V. Then you can combine it, you know, if your village, the the like uh, somebody who come from the east now, can have some uh, whatever this. I can you be one. Uh huh. Then it can be a very funny thing, but you are used to it. Iwata. Then you can stay. Um, you know, that's anything. Just, just put it. Eh? Can put it. Um, I am Odogu dot two. No. <laughs> Why one of our? So just <laughs> combine, combine English 
local language or local food, you know, and so blend them. Don't you use too much English words for your password. And many people, they want to create password and my first son name and my, my date of birth, my, uh, the, my, don't use those things. They are not good. They are common. They are not peculiar. They are common and hacker first start from those things and guess it, you know, and then, so use simple, but peculiar. That if I, even if you are dreaming, you can say it. Okay. And so then blend it with the hash and all of that. So then, uh, uh, dedicate, you know, a separate email for your exchange platforms. Now, your email that is attached to your exchange, okay, don't use it for other stuff like that, you know. You also dedicate a particular email, if it's for this account or two or three or for split your exchange, uh, this thing. So any, any email you use for your exchange or good transactions and all of that, don't expose it easily to any a website, you know, come on, you just want to sign up on IO or airdrop, you use that email. I'm sorry for you. At the time they will pick it, you you, you hear it. So be careful, don't don't mix it. If you are not be able to do it, don't do it, just leave it. Anytime you can set it to do it, do it. When you have free time, create several emails and tag them. Be disciplined. Then dedicate a separate email for all those airdrops, just like I've said, you know, for, you know, discipline is very important. So no matter how, you know, and then um, I've said this before several years back that your wallet you use if your blockchain and have at least two or three separate wallets, a particular wallet that is like your, 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 your vaults on no account should you send out Bitcoin from such wallet to any other person. Over time, if your income generate very well, let everybody go and buy hardware wallet, treasure, ledger, and go and buy. With 100 or $200, you can buy the hard wallet. And so when you have reasonable money that you have made profits, you are keeping in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or not, move it to your ledger, and then keep them off online, and then let them be there. We have not seen anything. BTC hit $50,000 now, go to, you will hear when those criminals who refuse to bend down and work now, they will stand up to walk by force. And then when they want to walk by force, anybody who is vulnerable, they will pick you. And if they grab you one second, by the time you have looked, maybe the Bitcoin you have gathered and all of that, and then you are seeing that you have over, over $500,000 in a particular, and they lock you out. Oh my God, your email is not correct. You say, okay, let me reset. You reset, they say, no, this ID is unknown. Ah, you say, no, well, I don't come. You put again. He say no, you have no registration. Ah, ah. He say okay, reset. He say uh, email is just reset. They did so options of where to type the email. You now they say send a code. You send you re you saw send, and you go to your email nothing, and then you try again. They say no, your email is is this. We have no database for this. Okay. By the time you call Amadio, Amadio are saying now nah, this technology they too hard. Then you say, where will I go? You call Sango. I go there. Ah, Baba. Hey, I want a jenny kini yo, a jetto polyle. You call your yours, your yours there. I want a jolly computer. Yeah, well, my da. So you now see which, which is afraid of another witch, you know. And so, <laughs> so let's, let's be careful. Let's be, uh, go to some of those abracadabra. Uh, gymnastic uh, house. <laughs> now I would like to you. Two factors. See, the level of technology we have that when crypto start maturing, your account will be picked without two factor. Without, <laughs> by pass your two FA. It's just, uh, better, it's just better you don't expose yourself unnecessarily. Okay, so the, the, last, the last few things is, uh, so do not accept French requests anyhow on your Facebook and make sure to know the fellow. If you don't know, go through the profile, timeline, and event of pictures before accepting anybody. Just see and then bam, you'll say accept. Accept for what? What is he looking for? You uh, check very well. You kept him up. In fact, some, 
you you reject it intentionally. You reject it. You, you reject it intentionally. Some, yeah, if they disturb you too much, block the person. Not, uh, what, I don't whatever see thing he wants to, whatever yeah. thing he wants to bring, let him take it away. Yeah. Okay. Block. Safe. So be careful on friends' requests. You accept, and then to always put disclaimer in your business. Especially some of us who maybe you are telling people about, you know, crypto or platforms. And I've seen people when because you inter you invited them to a platform, and then when Noroko enter, you say, "Now nah, you show me." Your then if to say the thing, John will mature very well. But he will say, ah, I was smart to have started this business. Ah, I knew it. My spirit will not deceive me. That's where he said, Holy Spirit, who told me? Uh-huh. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Holy Spirit told me. Then when the thing turned the other way around, ah, I felt it. I just felt it. I was talking to the Holy uh, uh, We have heard your type before. So be careful. Tell somebody plainly anything he wants to. Me, I don't care. I tell you X, Y, Z. I tell people in life, they say, how real this business? I say, guy, the only thing that is real is one, and which is the word of God. Every other thing, even you, you are a temporary man, you go through. So any, uh, those people that uh, Mr. Corolla and Camry has taken now, you didn't know that they will jam Corolla and uh, Camry. Even Benz have jammed them now, they are gone. So do they know? And so when he asked, do hey, is it real? I say, only the word of God is real. It will never change. It will remain. And it will fulfill what it was sent for. But every other thing, you're wasting your time. So if anybody say, can you convince me? Better convince yourself. Then do not click on link. You do not trust directly from your email. Rather, if you must click on link, even if it's genuine, if you must click on link, if it's not like verifications, that you know you initiated and you see a link and you even know that yeah, I have had this business. Type it out, use your viral and write it down, type it to a browser. But when you do that, you didn't lift everything altogether. So you could bypass some of those Trojan they set and send with it. So don't click on link directly, copy it, type it out first, and then open another tab and use your hand to type it one after the other. Bam, 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 and then log in. So the stupid thing you still be waiting that you thought you were clicked it and pick your profile. Nothing. So and if such things don't now clear, so your system like you are using some system that have good security will tell you some this efficient site. Mm, just close it. Have a nice day. Even if they want to give you twenty billion naira award, just say this award is not for me. Close it. So it's very important. Prevention is better than cure. So professor is better than doctor. Doctor can say, go and contact, go and contact the Kuro. We have solution. Professor say, no, it's not good, it's deadly. You know, professor can do a lot of advice. Doctor say, don't worry, we cure everything. We cure where? So be careful. And so it's not it's not enough to be in business, it's not enough to make the money. It's important to secure you know, your fortune and so that you don't uh, labor for one stupid ego somewhere. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Other things are kept you for the next class. Uh, tomorrow, by the grace of God, like I said, our time people have changed. By tomorrow, we may have a trading room, but let's see what happens in the market. If the market will be us very well, that would make sense. If it can come down within, because like it's already dancing the reggae. We said from now to 12 hours, we should have gotten a good confirmation of so the total dropping. And if not, then let's see what happens. Tomorrow by 9 p.m., we can have just like one hour trading room and all of that. Then conclusively, for some of us who have the, the all the coins we are trading, please remember the rule of your trade is that if you are the type that used to scalping, any third, uh, secondary coins you scalp, once you know you want to go off the screen and you have done 4% already, please convert it back to your BTC and go off. Most of those secondary coins, especially those coins that have not really gotten standard of applications and all of that, they are dumped heavily when BTC crash or take a sudden spike. Some of them can leave the realm of hundreds of thousands Satoshi and come to a realm of even hundreds, let not even up to thousands. So be careful so that you don't, you, you won't be walking and you couldn't even see any progress at all. So be careful. So if it's tapping and it's a secondary coin, once you have done 4% and you know you want to go off screen, 
then just sell it off to your BTC and go away. But BTC fall, you have capacity to rise again, and then you can be okay. So please be very careful. Please, I beg you in the name of God, be careful about that. And so, and <clears throat> all the coins you are trading, especially those of us who are on um, um, this guy, Tika Tiwari coins, don't, you have to apply sentiment. What sentiment do you apply? You buy a particular one, and it just spike up. Now, of course, we have told us four things are very, very, very important in your trade. One, the volume within 24 hours. Two, the price. Three, the support. And four, the resistance. These are the basic rule of trade. Other things we still learn, especially on our trading room, and give us more updates. But it doesn't make sense that you are just learning lecture, lecture, in class, and there's no practical. That's what I was telling somebody, I say, demo account is different from life account in forest. You can take one year to trade them. It has not even amount that you have started trading forest for two months or one month. So you are just demonstrating how the madness will be. So where will you start the madness? So it is important we sit down with and understand our pattern. When you make mistake, you use that mistake to learn the next phase. But anytime we have said, Always sell every spike and buy every dip. Once a spike happens, sell off at least a given portion of that coin and wait for a reversal, especially a vertical spike. Every vertical spike have 99% possibility and probability of a pullback for a correction. So when excessively it has done that, excessively it has done that, sell, don't sell all, please, I beg you, Cultivate this culture of not selling off all your coins. That's what we used to say in our forum, ladder sell or ladder buy. So that if you have sold the first or second phase and the market still continue, then you take advantage of the remaining one. Now, if it take a pullback, then if it's a coin that is primary coin, or some of you are that on Tika Tiwari coins, what you do is to look for a way of having more volume of such coin. Let's say you have bought a coin and you bought 1,000 volume of that coin, okay? You bought 1,000 volume of this coin, and that coin, at the end of the day, uh, it's spike. You have bought it, let's say you bought it at, uh, how many Satoshi? Or let's say you have bought a particular coin at, uh, uh, let's say 300 Satoshi, for instance. 300 Satoshi, a coin you have bought at 300 Satoshi, and there you go, uh, let's say this coin, which coin I will use. Okay, let me use RCN as a coin. Okay, now, if you have bought this coin, or da, 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 at how many Satoshi, maybe at uh, 400 Satoshi, okay, 400 Satoshi, and there you go, 400 Satoshi, you bought 1,000 units. Now, 1,000 units, uh, okay, still low, let's say 10,000 units. Okay, it's about $400, but right now it's about $300 or $290. So you bought this. Now, the market started, you know, this is a very good coin that is even trending, you know, this type of coins will not fall easily, you know, but okay, let's forget about that. Now, now you, bought, you bought it now, you bought uh, 10,000 of it. There you go. The market spike excessively. From 400 Satoshi to 800 is already 100%, but the guy enter 1,000 Satoshi, like that. So take 500, 1,000 Satoshi, or even 900 Satoshi, okay? Now, take half of it, Okay, 5,000. Remember, what you spend here was how much? 0 0.04. Now you are selling 5,000 at 0 0.045. Already you are in profit of even 0 0.005, apart from the remaining 500 that is still left. Now the markets uh, we pull back, either you like it or not, a pullback of most of those markets, maybe, 50 MA and all of that, depending on their cycle, uh, may pull back by 40%, especially when they take excessive spike, like something like this up here. 
Now, you have sold at 900. Then if the, if the drop is not conspicuous, it's not so much you know, uh, strong enough, then you come back when the market has dropped to, let's say, uh, much, let's say uh, 550 Satoshi. I'm just using an instance. It happens, you know. Officer, you know we do that magic or something like that, Abi. Yeah, me yeah, officer did one magic like that uh, last week. And so we're still on the game plan. Now, there you go. Here you have, you, you have sold the 500, okay? Now, you now want to buy back at 550, okay? Now, at 550, uh, how much is your money? 400 and uh, 0 .0, 0 0.0, 0 0.04500. Now look at it, you are buying back 8,181, let's just say for instance. Now with this together, with that previous one, you have 1,300 plus, almost 400 plus. Now you have increased the volume. Any, not, any next spike again, you sell. Now ensure that the volume of that coin is being increased. So over time, even when the price come down, all of them come down, if you still want to decide to sell, you still sell at profit. Then if you now understand why you are keeping more volume of the coin, you wait. When the excessive spike now happens, then you make the money. So that's just a uh, very you know, important um, uh, uh, stuff that we must take into you know, consideration and all of that. Somebody say, uh, so the idea is this. The idea here is when the next exchange where EDC will be listed to make sure to take advantage of it. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's true, Joshua. Uh, once the, the next uh, uh, announcement of the next uh, place, maybe this is going to be uh, uh, listed or replaced by the existing exchange, just go there, put in some money there and wait. You, know, you, are, you want to attack, and so you have to be ready to strategize yourself. Okay. Okay, somebody have one answer. Thank you very much. I think it's just a Okay, right. Yeah, any question? Any other question? Any more information? Good evening, sir. God bless you, sir. Yeah, please, sir. Uh, last week, some last week, you said you get back to me on Butas card on KYC on Comdex if it's possible. Okay, yeah. As many people, they, I think they said that uh, Butas card was not going, and uh, many of them, well, I don't use Butas card, but most of them that I asked, they said, Voters card was not going through that. That's what they they observed. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Have to use the okay, okay. Somebody have okay. Hello. Yeah. Yes, yes, Papa. Right. If you're Nigerian, okay. you need to use your password. Um, no, on EDC verification. Yeah. No, no, on coins. No, it's on oh, okay, coins. Okay. It's oh, on okay, coins. Okay. Uh, no, if it's uh, on EDC, I think it's going. Yeah, voters card is going on EDC. Uh, yeah. I think it's on coins bit. I think the, I, I think coins bit, you know, recognize more of a passport, mm, uh, passport, driver passport, license, uh, even international, even driver license. Sometimes is is difficult because you start asking for back uh, uh, page uh, whatever, which of okay. course there's no provision. I mean, there's no provision where you are going to upload it there. So more. More like um, uh, it's only international passport that is is express really. Yeah, it's in expert. in every verification. Yeah, in every verification. So are you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I think voters uh, voters card uh, for those. Uh, so you have some of your clients, right? That uh, on their voters card is not. Uh... Yeah, the, yeah the most most of them are voters card. Most of them. Oh. They don't, they don't want your CM, CMG to reach one million. What is wrong with that? I'm on 600,000 now. Eh? I'm on 600,000. Fantastic. Fantastic. I want to make it to a million, but they don't, the Fantastic card wants me to give it a million. <laughs> wow. That's serious. <laughs> okay, so any other person, any other question? Two million. Oh, that I said you not to fair war. <laughs> I said you. I said you to fair war. <laughs> Benny, I said you to fair war. I let you. I let you hear what my old guy talk. Eh? <laughs> no, I can't hear you, sir. <laughs> he said, 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 he said
<laughs> Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, good evening. God bless you, sir. Okay. Uh, it might throw more light on this uh, Itabu and uh, Itabu because I can't even uh, take advantage of uh, that uh, opportunity on Itabu and Itabu. I don't really know when when to when to do that so if you can throw more light on that uh -uh, okay yeah no it's a bull let's be you know the point is this uh once once we maybe we take a review and we get a very good uh, uh we take a review and we get a very very clear direction just like now we have said the direction of btc is still very confusing but for me i, I i've been saying it i say even when it was that 6,500, we said the drop is inevitable, but it had a shallow drop here, right? That was when it did a shallow drop here from 6,600, 6,700, it had a shallow drop. But even this shallow drop, somebody was asking me, is it over? I said, the drop is not over. But when we got here, we got so many kind of supports. There were some kind of movement of money in, in um, USDT buying, and so, those more buying was like consolidating the price more, more, more here and some other fundamental information. But for me, I just did, but it was risky though for anybody to buy Etabia, but I bought, okay, I bought. So, and but there, there was a time I categorically told us to buy. That was about two, three weeks ago. And that was when, when the BTC crashed down very well. And then at least people who bought made money and they were happy. But at this point, it was risky, but I bought. And I told a lot of us, I said, I've already bought some of my ETA beer and kept. So when the drop is so, con so confirmed that the drop is very, very confirmed that it will do, that is when you buy the ETA beer. So that the more drop, the more profit on your ETA beer. Now, but if you, if you the, the good advantage and the disadvantage, the advantage is if it drops very well, you are in good money. That's a little money, you can swell up anyhow, I tell you. And just like you are buying at $11 and you buy only 10, just 10, for instance. 10 of it, $11 is 110, right? And the market crashed very well. If the market crashed by 40%, that means on that, your ETA bear you bought at $11, has done 120%. So you may see the ETA beer come up to, uh, I remember the last time ETA beer came from $10 to as high when that excessive crash from 9,000, 10,000 plus to that 3,000 something. ETA beer moved from $10 to as high as $89. So for me, I didn't want to, I don't need to wait till $89. I opted out at $50. Imagine things you have bought at ten dollars, and at no, I bought at fifteen dollars. So at fifty dollars, forty-five like that, three times, three hundred percent. I just move out, push my money back to USDT, waiting for more drop of BTC. And up to now, BTC is struggling to drop. It has not dropped to that extent. So ETA bear is when there's a very certain indicator of the price of BTC of the markets to record the bear trend. Then you buy. ETA bill. Now, the same thing, of course, even when the ETA bull, even if the, the assurance was not so there of recovery back, if there's a drastic drop of BTC anytime, like all this drop that happening in BTC is very unusual. It's not a normal one. So just expect anything. So recovery can surprise anybody. So, but it's BTC that have capacity to drop drastically and again, take another turn. And many people will forget about the last drop it dropped and even the up it was sometime. Just like as if we have been on 5,000, 6,000 since, as if that's the normal price. It didn't occur to many people now that we're at 10,000 plus before and at a point we're in 3,000 where many people were panicking. Now people are adjusting to this price as if they are enjoying it. But like myself, I'm still expecting, guy, you have to come down. In fact, the first, the first reading and checking of BTC we're checking I was expecting that guy to at $1,800 or worst case scenario, 2005. But he refused now, you know? And so 
I can now, when there's a drastic drop, like this drop we're expecting, if it dropped to like at 4,500 or, or 3,800 or 4,000, you can buy a table. Go from there, you can first adjust and come back to like 5,600. In doing that, you have done some good percentage. Then you can decide to sell or still leave it. Okay? So, but every time you buy and then you buy that Etabe or Etabu and it has run some profit for just like now. People bought Etabu, Etabe yesterday or three days ago when it was at $11. Now it's at $15. If the person buy 20 Etabu at $11, that is $220. But what if about 100? 100 times, 100 times um, uh, 10, 111. That's $1,100, am I correct? That's $1,100. So at $15 now, if that 1,000 is being sold, that is $1,500. So 400 is already made. But can I be patient enough to even see that the guy dropped back to $23 it was sometime last week or so, $23, $25. He get back to $25. So $25 multiplied by 1,000, that's $2,500. So you have, you know, excess of um, how much? 1,000 something, about $1,400 profit. So confirm drop at etab Uh Confirm return up, up for trend, etabo. Then sometime you have sold BTC to USDT. You know, it's, it's, now, it's now stable. The market is dropping, you are still in your profit. The you answer, no. I know it's, this is my profit, you are stable. It's like I've cashed you to my bank account. But look at beer now. Beer will increase the more this guy is dropping. You can take part of that your USDT and buy a beer. So in such case where you just quickly say, let me take small money or half of my money from uh, USDT and buy a beer. Actually, you were waiting for BTC to drop again, for you to use that USD and buy back. But this time around, you don't wait. You say, okay, now that BTC is still dropping and I'm waiting for it down to buy it, let me push that money to Etabia. So Etabia now move and do additional, maybe from $11, it has moved to buy $20. Somebody is waiting for it at $30, $35. You at this point, you say, no, no, no. no. After all, the first price, the first USDT I convert from BTC was a profit. And now I pushed it to uh, Etabe, it's at $20. That's additional $99 on each I bought. You can say, I beg, you don't do. You convert it back to USDT and now keep waiting for your BTC. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah, that's clear, sir. That's clear, sir. And, and lastly from me, uh, I know you 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 make mention of uh, uh, staking on the on the on different uh, wallets like the trust wallet. I want to know those wallet are they flexible like the picture that uh, at any point in time you can uh, maybe pull up your asset, maybe flex it and maybe come back and uh, drop it. Are they flexible? Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. They are flexible. Okay. They are flexible. All right. They are flexible. They are flexible. All of them are flexible. Okay, I think we have really tried tonight and everybody, uh, fantastic. Please stay safe, wash your hand regularly, uh, greet your friend with leg to leg, <laughs> sit at home. <laughs> Don't greet your leg with leg to leg. Okay, oh, no greet leg to leg. Ah, okay. Okay, just say hi, what's up, what's up, Alpha? Social distance. Okay, social distance, no even come close. Okay. Okay. Oh, just, just. Pray wait. Huh? I'm pray, pray, pray. I know prayer is 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 a must. Yeah, you you're right. Everybody, please go close to your God this time around very well. Because a lot of people now, you know, you are home. You don't feel like you know uh, going close more. It's like you just flexing and all of that. Just go close to God. If you do your alwala fire for five times, do it more. If you do your night BG very well, do it more and uh, very, very important. I will tell people in whatever thing you do, your relationship with your board is the first thing, very fundamental. So, so thank you, everybody.
I mean, you're almost okay. For, uh, for some of us who are very new tonight, I know if you have not been to cryptocurrency at all before, it looks strange to you, am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, uh, Madam Doris. Yes, sir. It is this, sir. <laughs> Okay, I told you anybody with you. I've not been to cryptocurrency before. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are you the one that is new? Are you the one that is new? Mother, this is this, sir. You, I mean, are your twin sister? You know when they're going to attack me now? What's your point? Uh-uh. You always talk, sir. I've so many languages here. You seem strange to me. Eh? So many languages here. You seem strange to me. Okay, who is on? Who is on? Let me see who is on. It's just a room where the guy comes up. It's just a room. I don't understand that guy since morning. What? What? Makun one. He confirms this morning. Okay, he never, he no agree confirms this morning. I don't know. Now, nah, nah, Mister, now, nah, Mister, your family go contact. Now, nah, he go help you. Sharp, sharp. The guy go confirm. If Mister, <laughs> you throw one word, give up. He go confirm immediately. Is uh, uh, they here? Is they here? Is they here? Yeah, I know they uh, there. Yeah. I know that. I know they there. We go revoke. We go revoke your. Know. You know, say I never pay. We go. Are you now? You now thirty first now. Ah, people when they when they disturb you, no, no. <laughs> I will, I will share, I will share that your own with, uh, with the coordinator. Why you no confirm <laughs> now? <laughs> Come out here. He don't, he don't, he's, he don't. Wait, he's waiting for Mr. Yos verdict. Don't worry. He's waiting hey. for Mr. Yos verdict. Where are you? Come out here. <laughs> I don't know why. Where you guys? Where you guys in the bush? Family Bitcoin. <laughs> no, sir. For me, it is <laughs> I got to treat the best, yo. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Nami? No, no Nami. Do it. You come. Come again. I mean, you drive Corolla, go outside. Our gas streets not a laugh. Oh. My family is there. Family. I beg, let him pay you. Make you confirm. Go confirm this man now. Uh, I'm not supposed to confirm immediately now. This is something that he is supposed to pay since 25th. I just received payment. How am I going to confirm? I'm going to confirm it by by next month, 20 25th. No problem. Yeah. No, Wahala. No problem. Okay, no. <laughs> Don't come back. 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 Don't come Leave that way, guy. No, let him not confirm. That's his monkey. Let him go and carry it. Um, Mr. Felix was talking about uh, our security, of, especially those of us having long term uh, holding coin, uh, the Tikatiwari project. <laughs> guys, let's take it very seriously. One <laughs> of the guys that I know yesterday, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit of what happened uh, and then. You know, I, I had a discussion with Dr. Felix in the morning, and then... Uh, we don't hear you well. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, is it clear now? Yes, is it sir. clear now? Oh, yes, sir. Right. All right. Uh, so I was saying uh, our ticket to our coins, which is meant for long-term holding, uh, when Mr. Felix was talking about security the other time, please ensure you don't keep it on exchange platforms for any reason. Don't accept the ones you want to be selling and buying back and all of that. But then, don't leave your long-term holding coins on exchange platform. The guy subscribed to Ticket to Worry uh, about I think two weeks ago. Now that was 
Okay, three days to to the last five events. Uh, because if you want me to know how much you want to invest, because of course the subscription is was negotiating and begging and leaning down, standing up. He wants to pay an installment and all that. I said, okay, fine, no problem. You know, this guy he found it difficult to pay five hundred dollars for the information he wants to buy, but they have thirty five thousand dollars to go and use and buy the coin. Hey. That is, not, that is not even the problem. Now, he bought the coin, not knowing that the guy didn't know how to buy. He now went and, because he didn't pay me, he now went and convert someone else to help him buy in his account. Now, yet on 26th, it was yesterday he discovered all the coins, I mean all the coins, $35,000 worth of coins, his account was out. Everything was moved out. In fact, the people, the people that had the account sold off all the coins to Ethereum and moved the Ethereum out. About 250 something Ethereum was moved from his account. Now, when this guy bought this coin, I told him, as you are buying, make sure you move these coins out of your finance account and move it to your trust wallet at least. I'm sure that, that one is not linked to any email, it's not, you know, you only have your access, you know, with your phrase and all of that. And he said, okay, as it. <laughs> only for him to start telling me English yesterday that I could not uh, download the wallet, he was busy. I said, no, but you are no longer busy. Okay? Now, he, he was trying to be smart, but he was outmatching himself. He then tried. So, yeah, he eventually has mm -hmm. So, please and please, the level of action we are going to see going forward is going to be at an alarming rate. We saw this happen in 2017. We're going to see it again. We're going to see it again. So, anyhow, please, as much as possible, let's see. The wallet we are, with our wallet we are keeping, aside from centralized wallets, let's make sure we keep the details very, very safe. And like Mr. Bernie said, at the end of the day, all of us last last, we must buy hardware wallets. If we don't want a uh, story that touch, we must buy hardware wallets that we can move this. Because, I mean, I, I can't imagine a spike happening in one of the coins you have bought, and then the coin is doing 500,000%, and your $500 is turning to $400,000 or $500,000 or whatever thousand dollars, and you have the mind to be able to keep that kind of money even on blockchain, I won't be able to sleep. So those kind of money, you have, you don't move them out completely from you know, online wallet and put them in offline wallet, or you go and develop a chip and put it inside your teeth, anyhow you want to do it, so that anywhere you are, you know your money moves with you. All right, so that's just a little bit idea. I felt I should chip in. Let's ensure we keep our wallets, we keep our coins very, very safe. This is all we do. Me, I don't have any farm and farm. This is where my farm is and all of that. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Hello? Hello? Sorry. Hello? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bamidu, I just said now. But the blockchain, before now, I was uh, trusted the blockchain cannot be hacked or something. So, but until about uh, that time, this last time, BTC, BTC went up to $14,000. Somebody was calling me, asking me that uh, he wanted to buy something here. He wanted to send me by BTC. I should send me my wallet so that he should he transfer the money. I buy what he wanted me to buy. I said, okay, I sent him my wallet. So he said he has sent the, the, this thing. I said, okay, I'm waiting for it to arrive. 30 minutes, one hour. I said, it's not this. Are you sure you sent to the wallet I sent to you? He said, yes, he's, he did. I said, are you sure he's, I said, he said, yes, he's been operating that wallet for, 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 for years that he opened it. At the end of the day, I told him, listen, if this is your wallet, you should know that this wallet has a, a, a security pin before you send money there. So you should know, don't, let's not take this in very, very easy. People can manipulate people's account very easy this time. You know, and they do it comfortably. They will not get time to go and start do, do their own work. They can't want to sit the you want another person date. We should take it very serious. I'm telling you, the way, the way they are going these days is too much. 
That's my contribution. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, just to add to what you have said, blockchain cannot be hacked. Account can be hacked on blockchain. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yes, blockchain yeah. cannot be hacked. Account can be hacked on the blockchain. Because individual account on the blockchain can be hacked because of the individual carelessness. And that's why we tell people, like even some of those uh, external wallets we have, like Trust Wallet, uh, uh, over time maybe we don't have time for that now. Maybe another day, uh, maybe next week, uh, meeting, we will talk after you know our business presentations where we will talk more about the security and how to always outside your 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 back off phrase you're meant to go into each of those wallets and copy out your your what is it called private key all right so those things are very important there's a way somebody will set a wallet we call it unstable wallet if you like load one million dollars on it you in it, you can't spend it, but they have taken your private key and the primary key, so you can you know, not want to spend. They will say contact for them to give you your private key. When when you call, say give me my private, key, they will turn you to what they call it, blackmail. They will say until you put it for a month, you will see the money in your back office, even if it's one million dollars. You click to send, they say unspendable. So those things are there. So we have to be careful. So the blockchain cannot be hacked, but individual account can be hacked because of his carelessness. All right, God bless you. Uh, so let's have a nice rest. We try to trust tonight. And so uh, whoever was new, get back to whoever that invited you to the forum and have some titty and titty with him. And it's not about convincing you, convince yourself and then take advantage of opportunity. Remember, we say we are giving information or we'll give instructions, but it's the actions that will produce the results. Without the actions, nothing happens. So have a nice time. Good night, everybody. Hello, Mr. Felix. Hello. Hello Chris. Yeah, so how you did? I'm good. I just wanted to, I, I wanted you to finish your program, so I say hello to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Long time. <laughs> yeah, pretty long time. Times are off now. <laughs> and, and, and you told us to stay at home and work. <laughs> so, so we are we are practicing exactly what our coach has, has instructed. Are we, going, are we going to have another program tomorrow? Tomorrow night? Yeah, to do, yes. What time? Nine o'clock or, or eight o'clock again? Okay, okay. Let, okay, let's do it eight o'clock. Okay, I have to change the time, maybe eight o'clock. Only deal with me premium group subscribers. Okay, okay, because I, I I have a question to ask you on um, on our um, um, crypto.com. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, okay. confirmation and all those stuff. So because of time, let, let me allow for us to rest and then we'll keep it for tomorrow. Besides, I also have a personal um, issue I would like to call you and talk with you. If you won't oh. be, if you won't be in Plan B tomorrow, would you be there? <laughs> you know, I became, I become, I become very trans in, in Plan B. Let me, let me call you. Let me call you. <laughs> let me call you on the phone, please. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Good night. I hope Lagos is okay with you, huh? Yeah, we thank God. You are staying at home. Stay, stay safe, huh? Please. Uh, the national lockdown begins tomorrow. He is so, quarantine. <laughs> for the next 14 days, no movement in Lagos. I beg, I beg, uh, everybody please, everybody should stay at home, oh, please. Yes, yeah, so. All right. Yes, sir. Good night, uh, Good night. Yes, thank you. Yeah. All right. Corona Lee.